the stream. My name is Murphy. This is the Black Beanie stream, and we are playing simulators today. That is all we is doing. We're going to be playing Escape Simulator, which is going to be first, because we need to finish that game up. We are going to be playing Microsoft Flight Simulator, because I'm terrible at it, and we need to, we need to practice. We need to practice. Where are we going to fly? Who knows? What are we going to fly in? Who knows? We will figure it out. If you guys have to teach me how to fly a plane, we will figure it out. Hello, everybody! Gracious me, good to see you all. So good to see you all. It's been a couple of days. Thank you all so much for joining the stream. Yes, I did hear that Tom Brady retired. Big Ben retired. Gracious, it's insane. It's it's We're ushering in a new era of quarterbacks uh, led by none other than Patrick Mahomes. Um... Yeah, that's about all I can say about that. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, Trevor Lawrence, Joe Burrow, uh, Josh Allen, a lot of really good quarterbacks in the league that are that are going to lead the lead the league forward. When will I play Forza Horizon Five? Well, we can play it today if we have enough time. If we feel the inclination. Yes, we've got our water for hydration purposes. We have got our controller. For flight simulator purposes. We have Slush in the chat talking about George Washington for educational purposes. So let's go ahead and play some escape simulator, shall we? This is Edgewood Mansion. We finished the first two levels, um, or the first two areas, chapters, excuse me, which was Ancient Egypt and then... The space one? Was it space? Yes, it was space. And now we are in a mansion. Late 1800s, early 1900s looking mansion. Objective is pretty simple. Get through this door. Howling Wolf, good to see you. Thomas, good to see you. Mustache Slush. Martin. Kyle, everybody, good to see you all. Daniel Jones, good to see ya. <laughs> I guess I have to go back to Egypt. Don't make the rules. Do you know the time? Ooh, these... I can move these. They're like pendulums. Then I can stop them. Okay. How do I put this down? Ooh, there's some... Does it look like there's something in the hat? No. Edgewood attire. Is that how these people made their fortunes? I'm assuming this is Edgewood and Miss Edgewood. I'll edge your wood. Let's see. Umbrella. Remember, symbols will pop up on... See where it says hat up top? Symbols will pop up uh, that will show you. Howling says, your name Your name is Tyler. Okay, very cool. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, please don't be offended if I completely forget that. Ooh, got one of these. Nice. Teapot. Teacup. Tray. Just putting all this stuff in the garbage, because if it doesn't serve a purpose, it's just clutter. Editorial news. Town hall meeting tomorrow. Supercar type faster. Ooh. One, two, three. This is upside down. Tell me this doesn't look like the thing on the wall. This right here. See that? And then... See that? These are pendulums. This is the first one there. That one like that. Well, I feel good about that. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll leave that there for now. All right, let's check out the desk. Can move the chair. Got two locks. 
There and there. Ooh, and we need a key to open that and a key to open that. Nothing in the picture frame. Put that back down. Glasses aren't important. This book is important, apparently. See, it's got the book symbol next to it. Right here. The Island of Dr. Moreau. Okay. Lamp is useless. Fountain pen is useless. Picture frame is useless. A phrenology head. Ugh. This book is apparently valuable. This one is not. Again, I'm just getting rid of all the ones that don't have symbols next to them, so I don't waste my time. Ink bottle. It has a symbol next to it. I don't remember what the symbol means. Oh, hey, cool! <laughs> okay. I don't think the ink bottle serves a purpose anymore. Go ahead and throw that away. A Rorschach test. Okay. Corbin the Gamer, good to see you. Prezolia, welcome. Is there a story of how the person got locked inside? I don't think so. Um, from what I've noticed uh, in the first two levels, especially Egypt, because you're on like this expedition to figure out stuff, I guess. Like, it's mainly just the puzzles, but this guy, Edgewood, the, ed like, the Edgewood name pops up several times. Huh. Confused about this one. Oh, wait a minute. Look at the actual t Do you know the time? Look at the actual time on there. That one's right, because it's facing straight down. This one needs to go all the way across. And this one needs to be halfway. <laughs> Look at us go. Look at us finding clues. Okay. Dr. Edgewood's intellect assessment. That's Dr. Edgewood, I am fairly certain. These are not important. This is not important. There's a stain on the rug. This phrenology head is important. Study of phrenology is horrific at best, and incredibly racist at worst. Okay. Move these cushions. Oop, look at that. Key. Ah! We have a hat. Dr. Edgewood's intellect assessment. Find the odd one out. Which cube matches the unfolded? This one matches. This one does not. Maybe this one doesn't match. This one kind of matches. If this one goes down... Right there, no. Alright, whatever. Find the odd one out. Legs, no legs, snake. Question two, one, two, four, eight, sixteen. Each is being doubled, so thirty-two. Okay. Oop. Okay. 
Ooh. Get away! Mr. Edgewood, Mr. Edgelord. Now get out of the way. Bitter and Co. a safe company. Okay. Three digit code. Alright. Alright. This one says IQ. Would that be this? Intellect assessment? Makes sense to me. IQ. Okay. Four digit code. Up to nine. Find the odd one out. Two. Thirty-two. I think one matches. Let's try that. No. Two. No. Three. Three matches. There we go. Phrenology book. And we happen to have a phrenology head. That's good. Name of personality traits, self-esteem, hopefulness, verbal talent, secretive, blah, 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 blah. Tells you where they are on the head. Okay. All right. IQ and 10 do look the same. <laughs> it's 210, that's the code. Rody, good to see you. Ah! And Carl, of course, good to see you as well. Or shack test. Nobody will find my safe. Uh not a great hiding spot. Alright, so what did this what's up with this Rorschach test? Rorschach test two of three. A butterfly like a knot or a key books I have books plenty of books another key can I use this key that I can and look at that. They are numbered on the sides. This one is one. Okay, this one is two. All right. This one says three on the spine. What's the difference? Don't tell me I have to read all this. Okay, well, this is four. This one is two. Look at that. See the difference? The number of books on there changed. Corbin is absolutely correct. You must subscribe. You must subscribe. Yes, the amount of book icons on the top left. This one is seven. What number were you? Four. Two is four. One is four, three is seven, so four, four, seven. Simple code. Here we go, more Rorschach tests. Those are looking more like numbers. 
then keys. This is two of three, so that's looks like nine to me. Two. Five. That's three of three. One would be two. Nine. Five. Two. Nine. Five. Boom! Notes. Patient assessment. Phrenology, a phrenological examination of the patient's head revealed the following. Ooh. The head. Okay. Is this locket important? And then that's just a token. Care about the tokens? Okay. The patient embodies a strong understanding of melody and language. Unfortunately, that is where my praise ends. A love of notoriety combined with a complete lack of benevolence is a bad omen. More importantly, the examination suggests a combative personality with a habit of destructive behavior. This confirms my doubts. Okay, where is that? Chronology manual. Okay. So those are the sections on the head. The patient embodies a strong understanding of melody and language. Musical talent. Melody. Six. Unfortunately, that is where my praise ends. A love of notoriety, five. Combined with a complete lack of benevolence. Lack of benevolence, so don't press that. Combative personality, nine. Habit of destructive behavior. Oh, language, verbal talent, three. Yes! Give me that! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That's what I'm talking about. My camera is a bit blurry. Did it refocus? Hydration time! Ah! Grab your waters, boys. Grab your waters. Mm. Mm. Ah. Water. And Red Bull. And chocolate pretzels. From 7-Eleven. Ah. Got the little... Look, look, at, look at how this is... Look at how this is advertised. Look at how these are advertised. They're delicious, by the way. Well, not really. They're not that great, but they're 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 good. Chocolatey pretzels with a white drizzle. Mmm. Seven Eleven's chocolatey drizzle pretzels.
crunchy, chocolatey covered pretzels with sweet white drizzle. Oh yeah. Look at the drizzle on that one, huh? Oh God. Next episode. Yeah. Ah! Here's that lady again. Fine there. Flower pot is useless. Owl is a clue. Eagle is a uh, clue. Crash. 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 None of the books are clues. Ooh. And I can move these. I can move that. And I can move that. Open that. Nothing in there. Birds. Well, I got two birds right here. I got two points. Lockbook. Collection of poems. By Edgar Allan Poe. I have a book of Edgar Allan Poe literature. Butterfly painting. Looks like it goes with these guys. Let's stick it up there. Useless lamp! Go in the trash! Anything behind this? Nope. Can't move that. None of these books look like they're clues. Except for that one key book I found over there. Another butterfly painting. Another key book! Ah! Does this one open the other key book? Oh. Take this kiss upon the brow, and in parting from you now, thus much let me avow you are not wrong, who deem that my days have been a dream. Yet if hope has flown away in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? All that we have seen, all that we see or seem, is but a dream within a dream. E R E A M, so it's just dream. Okay. I don't know what that's a solution to yet, but I'm sure at some point we will find out. Lock is no longer useless, or no longer useful. Ooh. Another key. Okay, hang on to that. Don't think there's anything in that drawer. The higher classification of butterflies. Well, I'll tell you what looks like butterflies right here. You feel lightheaded. I'm sorry, mustache. Nothing in the ink bottle. Ooh. Key? Nice. 
And another locked box. Fantastic. Ooh. Take that. Five. Let's show about this one's dream. There it is. A circle. Perfect. It's exactly what we need. Right. To my dear wife, my love will always be burning like a fire. Can I open this? My love will always be like a burning fire. I'm gonna find a way to light that. Close! There. Ooh! A vinyl piece. Okay. Okay. Picture frames don't have anything. Butterfly. What was this one? Birds. It says birds, but it's got a four-digit combination, and I only have two birds. Bird statues, I'm assuming that's what that means. Are there other birds? Either way. Butterflies, five-digit combo. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I guess the butterfly sides have to match. The conducted study suggests that identical butterfly wings should be connected. Okay. We need one that matches that. This one matches that. More or less. This one matches that. This one matches that. Monarch, brown, three, eight, five, seven, two. Nice. <gasps> Another bird. Talking about, give me that bird. Ooh. Another record. Hoot. Hoot, hoot, caw, caw, hoot, hoot, screech. Okay. Owl is hoot. Was it hoot? Hold on. Hoot. Caw, that would be the crow. Hoot. And screech would be the uh, eagle, hawk, whatever this is. One, owl is nine, owl is three, nine, three, nine, one. Yeah, boy, all right, open, 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 what you got for me? Matchbox, for the fire. To my dear wife, my love will always be like a burning fire.
I'm gonna light so many fires. Look at that. Okay. I guess put this in the fire. Ah. Pocket thermometer. My visions are clearest under the brightest of the full moon and midnight fevers. The clock. Okay, full moon. My visions are clearest under the brightest of the full moon and midnight fevers. Okay. Middle, down, up. <laughs> Look at us go! Look at us go! We're killing it! We are killing it! We are killing it dead! Well, I don't know why YouTube crashed, I'm sorry. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Well, let's find out. One, to who? Three. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I keep forgetting you can't jump. I keep pressing spacebar. Beloved children, I hope you are enjoying your trip with your aunt. We finally took the time to clean the attic. Lizzie, we found your jack-in-the-box first. It's so cute with that heart on it, and it always pops first. We then found Daniel's, and it always pops up after four turns. Lastly, we found mine, and it looks like it needs the longest to pop up. They will all wait for you when you come back. Love, Mom. Mirror seems to be important because it's got a key. Those real time reflections, though, damn. Are these books are all important. I could have thrown them all away, put them all in the trash. Look a key and out of the mirror in case it's important. Uh, making a mess. Envelope. Wembley Drive, number 3161. Registered letter. Dearest Dad, thank you so much for arranging this trip around the world. First, we took the Orient Express and saw the magnificent China. From there, we took an airplane and arrived in San Francisco. Uh, there we got a car and traveled south and saw the rainforests. From there we took a boat and traveled for a long time until we reached the Cape of Good Hope, Africa. Finally, we took the train and boat back to our home in England. Okay. Right. Daniel and Lizzie with mom and dad. Daniel, Lizzie, mom, mom, dad, dog, horse. Okay. Got another safe back there. No, you do not. Dog toy! Says it's a key. Hang on to that. Jack in the box. There was a token in there. 
Don't really care about the tokens. We got some drawers. A lockbox. With a bunny on it. 5937. It's worth a shot. And another lock. This drawer opens. Papers. Ah! Five nine three seven two four eight one. I pressed five nine three seven and it put two four eight one. So let's try that on the the box. Oh, sweet mother of God! Take that. Thank you. Some jewelry of some sort. All right, so what did it what did it wind up being? Two four eight one. Okay, I got a thing. A projector lens, which I'm assuming I can put on this camera. Broken light bulb. We've got some jewelry, which is not important. Plain toy. Another jack in the box. Doll. Box can go in the trash. A babushka! Thank you so much. All right. A dollhouse, another jack in the box, nothing behind there. Globe with buttons. I know. Dearest Dad, thank you for arranging this trip around the world. First, we took the Orient Express, Express and saw magnificent China. From here... China. From here, took an airplane and arrived at San Francisco. There we got in a car. Saw the rainforests. Took the boat, traveled for a long time. Africa. And then England. <laughs> My bulb! Get in there! I'm talking about. Need film reels. It looks like. I already opened those. What are you? Jack in the box. Okay. There's a letter about the Jack in the boxes, weren't there? We finally took the time to clean the attic. Found your Jack in the box first. It's so cute with that heart on it. This one. It always pops first. And we found Daniel's, and it always pops up after four turns. Art. It's two. Okay. Found Daniels, it always pops after four turns. One, two, three, 
for Daniels. And this one takes the longest. So two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, four, six. Boom. Some more toys. Another one with a golden plate underneath it. Train toy, which has no significance. Boat toy, which has no significance. And an elephant toy, which has no significance. Okay. What is this one? A house. Does that look like a little house to you? 56 degrees, but the sun is keeping it warm. That sounds nice. God, I wish it was 40 degrees here. It's like 18 where I am. Uh, can I play House Flipper? I do have House Flipper. I, I will play that. I love that game. It's like the house to me. One, two, three, four. Try the illuminated windows. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Try two, seven, five, shall we? <laughs> Film reel! Perfect! Alright. Um, Edward, Victoria, Lizzie, Daniel. Uses their first names. Mom, Dad, Lizzie, Daniel. Alright. So dad is Edward. Mom's got the dog. The boy's got the horse. We got a horse toy. Dog toy. A doll. I'm guessing that's the little girls. And then the airplane for the dad. He's wearing some aviator goggles. Okay, so the horse is for the boy. Doll for the little girl. Airplane for the dad. Dog for the mom. That's great, but I still need another film reel. Oh, that's right, there's this. And I found this key. Completely forgot about that. Film reel! <laughs> Look at us go! We did it! Nice! Oh, you heard the ending of E.T. E.T. phone home! Oh, this one's creepy. Okay. Saturn. Very cool. Mannequins. I'll figure that out in a second. Got the whole world in my hand. Botany Illustrated. 
Oh, we'll hang on to that. I don't know what that is, but we got another four digit code. This one's three digits. The circle might be the planets. Maybe. Incense. Crafting and using of magical sense. Okay, it's got some stuff circled in there. And the labra, completely useless. And what looks like some kind of weird Ouija board table with pieces missing. Nothing underneath it. Oh. Some ingredients. Okay. Need a key for that. We got this grinder here. I'm assuming we need to take some of these and grind them up. Okay. <clears throat> some kind of orb. Shall we ponder the orb? <laughs> Luckily, I'm the botanist. Click to spin it and look through the slits. Oh, so that would be like this ribbon here. Put that in here. Oh, it's already got one. Uh... Looks like an eight, but it's kind of hard to tell. So that's cool. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they make the shapes of the numbers. So C is two. Guessing that's either one or seven. And eight. Let's try one, eight, two, and then seven, eight, two, if that doesn't work. Oh, no, that's not the right one. That's there's one for the orb or the planets. Whatever that circle is. Orb or planets. This is the one with the mannequins. One, eight, two. Okay, so it's 182, not 782. We got Mars! We got Jupiter! Saturn, Mars, Jupiter, and Earth. Oh my. <laughs> uh, excuse me? That's the right hand. That's the left hand. Okay. Jupiter, Saturn, Earth, Mars. Jupiter, Saturn, Earth, Mars. Uh. Okay. So that is right hand. Here. There's left hand. Okay, it's helping me out. First one's Jupiter, that would be this middle one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Saturn, Earth, Mars. Saturn. Earth, 
It could be Venus, Saturn, Earth, because it's upside down. I'm gonna sneeze! <laughs> oh, I could be a dad sneezing like that. It's the last one, Mars. Mars is up here. Nice, got a key! I'm gonna go poke it into some stuff and see what it unlocks. Pretty sure it unlocks this. Yes. Gimme, gimme. Got another one of these ribbons. Well, it looks like a sundial on it. Ooh! The nine tarot cards of truth. Tell me this doesn't look like this case for the tarot cards. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Okay. I was at the Emperor's Ball when I saw her for the first time. Very soon we became lovers and made our vows before the priestess. Oh, what a fool I have been! She was the world to me, but the fortune would not have it. In time, our love lost strength. That is too bad. And it looks like we got a piece of the board. There we go. Figure these tarot cards out. Okay. How am I supposed to see that? Why'd you put it all the way up there? Okay, so basic math, my favorite. Um, I was at the Emperor's Ball when I saw her for the first time. This is the Emperor. That's five. Five. Very soon we became lovers and made our vows before the Priestess. Priestess. Lovers. Six plus two is eight, so five, eight. Oh, what a fool I have been! Fool. Zero. Zero. That's five, eight, zero. She was the world to me. World. It's 21. But the fortune would not have it. Wheel of Fortune, 10. It's 21 minus 10 is 11. In time, our love lost strength. What is that? V, I, 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 that's 8. So 11 minus 8 would be 3. So 5, 8, 0, 3. Boom! Man, you got like no goodies, just a piece of, piece of wood. There we go. That does something. What are you? Sundial. Sundial scale. Okay. That's the scale we have in there. It looks like eight to me. A sundial, an hourglass. That's the hourglass. Does it look like three? I think that's three. Our glasses three, and then the sundial, which is the purple one. Look like six. I'm gonna go with six. Boom. Um. 
All right, another piece of the wooden board. Perfect. Okay. Um... Now what? Okay. Oh no, Ronnie's got a sore throat. <laughs> Ball two. Balls of steel. I need to do something here. I haven't used this yet. I'm guessing that's the orb. It's right there. Because the planets were used for this puzzle, Hands of the Cosmos. Incense. That's botany. Stuff was circled in here, wasn't it? The recipe must be done in the correct order. Incense for headache. Meditation incense. Dream incense. Okay, so psychic incense for burning. Morning bells. Mandragora. Almond ground. That's what the mortal and pestle is for. Okay. Almonds. Well, that's not very ground, but I guess that'll have to do. Okay, what did it say? Morning bell. Morning bell, mandragora, and almond. Morning bell is the purple one. Mandragora is one of the three green ones. It doesn't have spikes and it's kind of lumpy. Yeah, that one's smooth. This one's lumpy. Okay, so purple flower, lumpy leaf. Purple flower, lumpy leaf. What's the order? Morning bell, mandragora, almond. Morning bell. Ah. Into the fire. Mandragora. Almond. Two, four, nine. I'm talking about. Now what? Well, that wasn't there before. But there's a flame on the handle. ID. Hold on. V. O. ID. Void. Okay. Oh. I and D. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, there we go. We did it. We did it. Ricola! Woo!
Victory dance, what I'm talking about. The underground lab. Filthy. Scissors, which are useless. Garden trowel, which is useless. Watering can, which is useless. Animals. It's got like a footprint for the animal. The elephant have one too, yes. Deer. I don't see any deer. Oh, here we go. Lion. Give me that. Alright, I'm guessing... The number of paw prints. It's elephant. One, two, three, four, five, six... Convenient. Zebra. One, two, three. Three. Some scraps of paper. Deer. One, two, three, four. Four. Lion. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! Okay, they gave us a key. Just fit into one of these. Yep. Okay, so we need to find five total keys. That was just one. Book. Got some butterflies floating in the air. Token. Okay. Another book. The Origin of Species. Charles Darwin for you. Species. Okay, we're still missing some of that. It's fine. Ah, okay. All right, we're finding them. Zebra. Zebra. Looks like zebra pattern to me. Not the stripes. Is some of the gold. Oh, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five. One, two, three, four. Five, four, one, three. Nice! Another lockbox, and the rest of this. I don't know about you guys, but that looks like the origin of furry to me. 
<laughs> Zebra. Oh, is it is it hydration time? Is that what time it is? Time to drink more water. The first was the number of limbs. It was followed by... Oh, figure that out in a second. Eagle. Lockbox. I'll tell you what, that looks just like this guy right here. The first was the number of limbs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It was followed by limbs touching the pie. So limbs touching the circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. The final number is the ones pointing westward. One, two, three. That works. All right, I got another key. There we go. Okay, only three more. Froggy! How many of these things do we have now? There's five tiles up there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Species. Origin of species. Okay. Guessing Apex Predator. Fly. Eagle eats the snake. Snake eats... The frog. Frog eats the fly. The fly. It's the rose. Okay. Another key. Where do you fit? Down at the bottom. Two more keys to go. Um. Got these things with butterflies. Right. These look like butterflies. Green butterflies. Here we go, green butterflies. Oh, there's painting on the pots. It kind of matches this one. Green butterflies are on the double dash line. Okay. Yeah, there's painting on these two. Nice! One more key. Um, I guess these. These look like those. Eyeballs. March 23rd had the strangest dream last night. From the depths of the forest, the narrow eyes, color of gold, were watching my every move. March 25th, I arrived at the Azure Sea with a round island in the middle. Blue. Uh. Oh. 
don't have any bolded text in these ones here. It's just stunning. It's surrounded by fallen leaves and an endless hole to nothingness in the middle. Fallen leaves. Endless hole. Try that one. There we go. Let me out of this weird place. That's what I'm talking about. Who oh, Dayton's between baseball games. Hey, it's good to see you. You make sure those miscreants do their job. And don't break the rules. Call it as you see it, man. Okay, we finished Edgewood Mansion. Now, we're going to take a real quick, like, five-minute break so I can use the potty real fast, and then I will be right back. Okay? What am I doing power wash? Um, soon, I guess. You can do power wash when I come back if you want. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, the simulator games that I have are Escape Simulator. I've got City Skylines. I've got House Flipper. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Power Wash Simulator. Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Universe Sandbox. And Walking Simulator 2020. Okay. I think we can beat... We just finished Edgewood Mansion, which is... Uh, chapter four out of or no chapter three out of four in escape simulator so there's only one more chapter left and it's only got one two three four five levels so <laughs> when am i doing more reaction videos oh i should be doing that pretty soon actually there's finally enough submissions for me to go over them I think I'll do it live, too. What did you guys think? Did you have more fun uh, doing the reacting, reacting to your builds uh, live, or do you prefer it pre-recorded? I think there's more anticipation when you're doing it live. It's also a lot easier to... Uh, <laughs> I don't have to edit a video. Live! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Speaking of editing videos, I'm, uh... Yes, I will let you know when. Live is much better. Gotcha. And that's what we'll do. Speaking of editing videos, I am uh, working diligently on Golden Gate. Uh, script is finished. It's around 30 pages. So um, here's hoping that it winds up being just a little under an hour long. Because uh, the 90-page uh, Shanghai Tower, if that's anything to go by, was, what, three and a half, almost four hours long? Brutal. Yes, we will do it live. We'll do it live! All right, yes, I gotta use the bathroom real quick, and then I will be right back, okay? All right? This is not the end. This is not the end. No! Get that off the screen! It's not the end! No, it's not beginning either! There we go. Okay, I'll be right back.
Ooh. All right, we're back. Uh, the Shanghai Tower Minecraft Tutorial Trilogy. One last time. I don't know when Dayton left, but I hope you guys said bye. Hey, Kyle. Got some ice. For my beverage. Good thing I still got like four more of these. Okay. Did we decide on what we would like to play next? <laughs> it looks like blonde soda. It looks like piss. <laughs> hey, JR, good to see you. <laughs> okay, we got one vote for walking simulator. One vote for flight simulator. I know what we'll do. All right, we got a poll going up. That's just like four of five. How will I learn how to walk? Hey, Creepin' J, how's it going? All right, we got a poll in the chat just now for what we're going to play next. We got one for walking sim. Looks like three for flight sim. Oh, we got one for power wash. Flight sim still in the lead. And we also got a house flipper up there. You can, it's pretty crazy. You can do a lot of stuff. Where should we fly to? It's going to take a second for it to load up, though. I've got everything on an SSD. Um, we might have to adjust the graphics a little bit because I am streaming it as well, and I haven't tried streaming it with this new setup yet, but I can get pretty decent... Um, frame rates on ultra settings right now i don't know how like you know much i'm gonna have to uh downplay that i'm still waiting for it to start <laughs> oh we could fly over chicago we could hop in a jet and fly all over the northeast des moines we can fly over Vegas. Do you know if you have unlimited fuel? Is that a thing? Okay, we're in flight sim now, so I'm going to start up another poll to figure out what we will play after this. Okay? Your last session of Microsoft Flight Simulator ended unexpectedly. This may be due to... Un it's because I forced quit the game because I was bored. Continue you in normal mode. I was trying to make it to the, uh, the North Pole in a fighter jet. And there just wasn't a lot of, like, Google Earth information there, I guess. So 
everything just looked like pudding. <laughs> so I was like, well, you'll probably exit out of this. <laughs> Am I going to have to start another poll to figure out where we fly to? Anyway, I'm going to be using a controller. Uh, I do not have a flight stick. Uh, I don't have any flight control. I don't have rudders. I don't have uh, throttle. I don't have the flight wheel or a joystick. It should be really cool, but... I don't know. It's, it's way more expensive than the driving gear I got, which is probably one of my favorite, like gaming hardware purchases is my my wheel and my uh stick shift Ugh. fly to lol indiana might be able to find that i know where indianapolis is could find that no problem 14 new training missions look at all these new things you think this thing actually helps people learn how to fly all right world map This is the good old USA. You guys let me know if you experience any visual audio issues, okay? Like the second you see a problem, let me know and I'll try to get it fixed. You're in Northwest Indiana, you're up here. Kokomo. Muncie. Dayton. You're somewhere in this area, right? Am I close? Here's Indianapolis. Teaches them how to crash. <laughs> All right. Oh, I've got a friend. Flying somewhere right now. Patrick, cool. Got we just flying over Yonkers. All right, we got JFK right here. I am not under any circumstances flying out of LaGuardia. Have to be JFK. And I'm fine flying my Super Hornet. Okay. New York! Leech is actually probably the coolest person I've ever met. He's up there. He's dope. Reset cockpit view, free look. Brakes, decrease throttle, increase throttle, rudder axis right, rudder axis left. Kennedy Tower, Boeing Alpha, Sierra X-ray Golf, Sierra ready at runway tree one left, departing straight out. Boeing Alpha, Sierra X-ray Golf, Sierra altimeter, 290 decimal niner, two with two E3 and three. Straight out, departure approved. In this game? Oh, for sure. Remember, you guys let me know if you're getting any visual issues. I can turn down the graphics just a bit. And that down to high end there. Okay. Ah. Uh, here's my plane. And what I do is release the brakes.
And off we go! Okay. The first attack. No, sleep till Brooklyn. It's so cool. We need to go to Gino's under the bridge. No, leave me alone. This is what it looks like in the city, literally right now. All right, we got the Manhattan and the Brooklyn Bridge. Everybody say hi to downtown Manhattan. Yep, it's got live weather, so this is pretty much what it looks like. <laughs> Ten years do you think you do a Brooklyn Bridge Redux? I don't know why. Kennedy Tower blowing Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra at runway tree one left. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Fly to Chicago at maximum speed. I would. I've got 48% fuel. I don't know how to do more than that. Okay. Retract flaps. Well, if we want to fly to Chicago, we got to go this way. We'll probably be going this way for a little bit. <laughs> it really shouldn't take too long. My landing gear is retracted! 
distracted. What do you want me to do? Everything looks fine. No! How fast can this thing go? I don't know. You see, the problem is there are about 15 buttons, and I don't know what any of them do. Oh, could you imagine this in VR? That'd be so dope. I don't know how to acknowledge you, Control Tower. I'm sorry. There's Central Park. Can the plane drop bombs? Nah, it's not that kind of simulator, unfortunately. Jersey City! Good day. Can you guys tell I got new hardware? Like... Uh... Newark. We go down this way, down to Philadelphia. We go that way and check out Boston. Fly to Gary, Indiana! So this is why I like flying the jet. Like, look at this uninterrupted, like, field of view. That's amazing. The course correct a little bit here.
There we go. Fly to Europe? Oh god, could you imagine how long that would take? How fast do we go? My engines are currently burning at 64%. Well, what's stopping you? Just go ahead and join it. This is so cool. Well, we're currently headed west. So I assume we will figure out where we need to be shortly. You know what I should have done? I should have hopped into a passenger plane and then all of you guys could be the passengers in the back of the plane. far inland are we? Where's... Where's the map? Hmm. Well, the water is that way. So I'm going to be honest with you, I don't right know. Complimentary cans of beans while we enjoy the flight. I might do that. We might just start. Hold on. Let's just go ahead and start. Um, let's go ahead and start in Chicago, but I'll, I'll, I'll fly like a passenger plane. And then we can take a bean trip. Let's see. Uh. Interesting. Diamond aircraft. Textron Aviation Beechcraft King Air. Six-hour endurance. Oh, here we go. Got a Cessna. Looks like a nice private jet. What do you think? Ooh, all these liveries. Interesting. Weight and balance. <clears throat> Come on, let's fuel her up. Fuel her all the way up. Uh, pilot would be... Oh my. Uh, let's just say we got a 50% payload. Failures. Oil system, oil leak, Jesus Christ. Customization, tail number, call sign, beans. Tail number, BBG. All right. Okay. Let's zoom out. It's a Guardia. It's starting to get dark. This is Richmond International right here. This is my hometown.
Virginia State Capitol. Downtown area, Shaco Bottom right through here. This is Church Hill. South side. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Let's do Midway. O'Hare is really cool, but Midway is actually closer to the city. Midway is also the one that I normally uh, fly out of. Fly! For you, it's McDonald's Sprite. Enjoy the rich life of eating beans out of a fancy glass candy dish and a champagne glass filled with a drink of our own choices. For you, it's McDonald's Sprite. Thank you all so much for flying Air BBG. We know you have a choice in your airline, and we're glad you chose this one. <laughs> look at the look at the tail, BBG. Oh, I've got a co-pilot. Whoa. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Oh. That was weird. All right, Beans, how you doing back there? Are we ready to take off? Uh, landing gear. Which one of these is the parking brake? Pitch trim. Ah. Uh, no, don't worry, don't worry. I'll find the parking brake. Disengage engine starters. Set starter engine one position. Oh. MFD brightness. Heading. Altitude. Some floodlights. Air vents, that's the call button. Don't worry, Beans, we'll figure out how to get up off the ground here in just a second. Speed brakes. Ah, oh, okay. Ah. Uh, Sure. Okay. Here we go. Woo, baby! We died. Okay, that was... Fantastic. Okay, so we'll try that again. <laughs> what? Is there a private room in the back of the plane? I don't know how! <laughs> it's just some poor bastard walking on the runway. Doop doo doop doo doop. They hit a bug or something. Trying to accelerate. Ah! Close up now.
Okay. Oh, it seems much less dramatic in here. Oh, I need to adjust that angle. Okay. Why am I still climbing like that? It's enough. All right, Beans, we're headed over to Chicago. How's everybody doing back there? Dad, I can't hear you. Now I'm not gonna acknowledge, I don't know how to. And if you look to your right, you will see the glorious windy city of Chicago positioned beautifully right on the edge of Lake Michigan here in wonderful Illinois. I do not, and I don't know how to reply. Can you shut the fuck up? Oh my god. Tell me tell this homie to get off my nuts. All I wanna do is look at the Sears Tower. Here we go. Welcome to lovely Chicago. Millennium Park down there. You can see the bean. And there is lovely Sears Tower. I know it's hard to see from inside, but trust me, it's there. Oh, we're going to start leveling out here in just a second. And hopes. Where to next? Now to Vegas? Ah! This is exactly what the sky looks like right now? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Now 
Delta Vegas! This is not a very fast plane, my friends, so, uh... Brace yourselves. Quite the journey. Shoot, we should go to California. Nevada is on the way to California. Ninety eight percent fuel, guys. We can go wherever we want. All right, so which city first? Who said it's going to be a long flight? Go ahead, down back there. This flight will be as long. Don't make me turn this plane around. And if you look to your right. Chicago O'Hare, a literal zoo of an airport. And this thing just loves to climb, doesn't it? We go! Hey, BG. This is Air Beanie. Look at the wing. It's a shame you can't go inside the cabin. Lewis University, Brookridge Air Park. Not far from Naperville now. Naperville's somewhere in this area. Yes, the Midwest. God, it's so flat. Oh, gosh. We are headed to Vegas. I have never landed in this game, just so you know. Actually, I think I might have once or twice, but it's not like GTA. I can do anything in GTA. This game, uh, not so much. We're headed southwest. I try to adjust that angle a little bit. To 238. And I will maintain that. Also trying to get my airspeed up just a little bit, little by little. Hey, we're headed to California. California is huge. 
They sure as hell ain't going to Yosemite or Oakland. Let me grab the drink out of there. Delicious. I have the literal worst co-pilot. This is not the most stable aircraft. I am constantly having to adjust it. Chicago's looking mighty far. <laughs> the inflatable co-pilot. My God. We could turn around and go back to Indianapolis, check out Lucas Oil. Nobody better come across us up here. I've got a tube full of beans. Well, Gary, Indiana would be back that way. I don't even know if we're out of... We're probably in what, Wisconsin now? Or is Wisconsin above it, Illinois? Gonna pick up a little speed. Yeah, Wisconsin's above, that's what I thought. Pushing. Wiley Updike. Oh, I see another plane down there. Morris Munn Washburn. Chicago Glider Club. And try saying that five times fast. Chicago Glider Club.
Why are you shaking your butt like that, you stupid plane? That's some turbulence! doing that <laughs> stop bouncing what is this Okanuna, good to see ya. Does autopilot exist? Good question. You can land on highways. I don't know which river is that. Ottawa Airport. We're going to go down and take a look at it. Hartenbauer Hectaris. Is it the Mississippi? It'd be pretty dope. It's a jack shit out this window! Use six percent of our fuel. I think they really do do that. There's a plane down there to our left. I don't know if you can see it. It's over there. Alright, see, we're still losing altitude, which is what I want, but we're not getting much faster, which is also what I want. I'm going to keep the speed at about 260-something.
No, fuel isn't necessary for flying so much as it is getting off the ground and accelerating. Yeah, the engine should be low. I've got the uh, altitude and everything uh, covered up by my face right now. Getting a little too fast. Please tell me how to do it. Please. I'm very interested in this river. Set up a flight plan. Boo! Do I look like a guy with a plan? Oh yeah, I've watched Walking Dead. I remember when that show came out, man. First couple seasons were so good, and then it just got terrible. I didn't even watch it anymore. I LANDED A PLANE! <laughs> I 
I didn't know you could just land wherever you wanted. That's awesome. I'm in some random field in the middle of... Somebody figure out where we are. <laughs> Co-pilot. Co-pilot, I need you. Navigator. Marshall Co. Those cars are probably getting an interesting view. Rinkenberg. Where are we? I'm at Lakin Airport. L A C O N Airport. <laughs> Air BBG 420 text to Gate 6 Navia Bravo. Over. Can somebody tell me where we are? <laughs> Caution traffic at 10 o'clock. Yep, it looks like a house at 9. Hang tight. Master caution reset. Oil pressure, parking brake. Oh, so many flashing lights. How'd we... Engine not started. Right bumper plus... Landing gear. Landing gear. Doing everything I can, goddammit! Ooh, is it starting up? Sounds like it's starting up to me. Engine two ain't getting much. Parking brake. All right, we got engine two is starting back up. It's at 5%. Engine one is at 20. Roni doesn't share food. Down down back there! I'm trying to get us out of this field! Hopefully when we take off, we don't crash into those trees. All right, both engines are at 20%. How on earth do I turn off the parking brake? Okay. Plane has been reset. 
Parking brake is off. We gotta take off in that direction because that there be the field. Oh boy. Okay. Oh god, cars! You need to park! You need to brake! You've got to brake! Oh! We need speed! Speed! We need speed! Away from the trees! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Soda. So sorry. Okay, we departed from Chicago. Should still be light outside. All right, Salt Lake City. There we go, McCarran. We have a smaller one outside of Vegas I could take off from. Here we go. Let's do... Let's change our plane. Let's get something a little bit smaller. Oh my god, an Airbus. Gracious me. Got a 16-hour endurance, though. That's a lot of beans. Um... And the cruise speed for some of these is dick butt. Let's do this one. Cruise speed is 330. Could be a little better. Select arrival airport. Uh, could do... Here. Okay. There we go. Ooh, let's fly. Take the seven four seven. Nah, we gotta, we gotta see the whole valley. Kilo India Golf, Mike Traffic Day, or Bravo, this godforsaken desert. One west departure. All right, parking brake disengaged. This is fancy plane. Can I see the back? Yes, I can see sort of my passengers in the back. All right. Welcome aboard, Air Beans. We are going to uh, fly in that direction. Toward McCarran Airport. Just south of Vegas proper. We might be able to see the strip if I fly low enough. This is pretty much what, the, what it looks like outside where you are right now, doesn't it, Rony? You're watching from McDonald's Wi-Fi? Hell yeah! All right. We got a lot of runway here. They get up to our cruising speed. There we go. Mm. 
Come on. I need that speed, let's go! Vegas should be just over these mountains. I don't think we're quite there yet. We got the highway right there. From what I remember, we started... We lifted off, headed south. Our destination is west that way, California, Bay Area. So that should be Vegas either right up there or right over there. I'm thinking it's right up there. This is the desert. Willow Springs Ranch, does that sound familiar? <laughs> uh. Okay, we got tons of fuel. I should have filled it all up. Well, I don't see a toolbar. Do you have any idea how miserable it is driving on these highways? I know Roni has to. I've only been out to Nevada twice. And the last time was two years ago, right before the pandemic. God almighty. Just driving in a straight line forever. Light assistant, basic controls. Oh, cool, I can pause. Me. Camera, checklist, basic controls. Okay. Nice. Okay.
Cool. Let's sort of fast forward. This is me. Okay. No, I don't think there's LA anywhere near where we are. Gotta be getting close to Vegas, though. I think it's exactly where we're headed. Because we started quite a few dozen miles south of Vegas. Okay. Going Springs Airport. I don't doubt that at all, Roni. You know, I thought Nevada was hot, and then I went to Arizona. Sedona wasn't so bad, but Phoenix was awful. Gotta be getting close. I really do think we're, it's like dead ahead of us, I think. Oh, I don't know if they'd have that in this game. This is just a flight simulator. I was about to say, is that the uh, Colorado right there? The Hoover Dam is really cool. Is that Lake Mead right over there?
Yes. There's a point when the highway crosses the river not far away from the dam that looks really cool. I don't know if we'll be able to see it in this, though. Guys, I can't even tell you how happy I am that I have a new graphics card and a new CPU. Like, look at this. This is at 1440p for you, or for me, and it's outputting. It's playing this game while also outputting it out to you at 1080p. I just... Man, my other graphics card, I could barely get this game to do anything. I had it run into potato graphics. My destination is just across the bay uh, area there. It should take us over San Francisco and over the Golden Gate Bridge. It should be that. There's a river. I don't know what all we'll be able to see from up here. spamming
Anderson Airport. Boulder City. Should be pretty close now. Attempt a barrel roll. <laughs> yep, Boulder City right there. The dam is up over that way. There's Henderson. There's McCarran right there. We're very close. I have been to McCarran a few times. go. All right, Roni, here we go. Just over the nose. There's the strip. How well can you guys see it? Not well? Don't worry. I'll try to get closer. This is your pilot speaking. If you don't dead ahead over the nose of the aircraft, you'll be able to see the famous McCarran International Airport. Just ahead of that, the South Strip. And just to the right of that, the North Strip. You see the pyramid at the MGM Grand, not far from that. Roni, tell us what we're looking at.
Caesar's Palace! Nellis Air Force Base, just up to the north. Not far from where we are right now, we should be coming up on that new Raiders stadium. Where is it? Just up here, right? Or am I imagining things? It might not be, but I don't remember it being... Stay off the highway. Isn't it like around here somewhere? Yeah, I guess it's not in the game. I'd say goodbye to all the porn and gun shops. Yeah, that flat oval right there. They need to update their Google Maps stuff. This looks very familiar right here. Yeah. Golf course. All right, we got the engines up to 88, 87, put that down to 85, see what we can do with that. And we are back on the ascent. Is Vegas really this flat? Yeah, man. 
Vegas is one of those places. You'll see a million and one photographs and a million and one movies and videos of the Strip, which is that little area right there. But Vegas looks like this. You got some subdivisions. You've got a lot of these brown and gray, red and black mountains. And uh, hot, hazy air. Ask Roni, he'll tell you all about it. I think all the buildings. Tons of dirt, yes. So much. Hey, what you got there? Dirt. It's the desert, baby. Bank a little to the left, get back on course. Ugh, we got 40%, 41% of our fuel. Started out with 50. We are 358.32 nautical miles away. You got some Vegas dirt? <laughs> hey, there's a little bit of green. A little bit. Just a little bit. That's going by pretty quick. What do you think? Gonna be a long flight. Hope you use the party. I wish I could move around the cap or the, the cabin. You know? Oh my god, Ronnie. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool to go skydiving.
There it is. The only place in this godforsaken state that has any snow. We knew it was going to take a long time. I believe it's still light for you guys. Dark where I live. Coming in very steep. Shush, not gonna stall. Ah, we stalled. Okay, we were about right here. <laughs> we, had, we would have had to go through all of this. And I wasn't really feeling that. So what we're gonna do.
killed by Nevada. Nevada took us out. Bravo Golf ready for departure to the west at runway tree zero. All right. Let's get our engines up. What are you doing, homie? Dumbass plane. Who got good gurgit? I got San Fran right over there. We'll just pretend we, we flew all the way here. There it is. There's so many bridges out here. Oh, if only Ziggy were here to see this. We miss you, Ziggy, wherever you are. There's the Bay Bridge, north of town. Bay Bridge. This is downtown San Francisco. Those are some nice yachts. I have walked all the way from over there all the way down here. Got Lombardi somewhere around here. Ghirardelli factory too, somewhere. Pretty cool town.
And of course, the most famous part of San Francisco. I don't know if I can fly under it. I'll try. There you go. Goodbye, San Fran. The Bay. Gotta be getting close. Where am I supposed to land? Tower, where is my runway? <laughs> oh yeah, traffic is horribly inaccurate. Does that mean it wants me to land in the water? What is that? 
I'm gonna land in no water. That's ridiculous. Turn it around. We're going back to San Francisco International. Land in the water. Land on my dick. Unbelievable. So close! So close! I could have done it! I could have landed on it. Damn. If this was GTA, I could have done it. You're telling me. Is dumb. Oh, look, there's Richmond. <laughs> San Jose shouldn't be too much further south than this. San Jose International. Bing. I want to land on the Golden Gate Bridge. And that's what I'm going to do. A small plane for takeoff, runway zero, one left. flying the BBG colors.
I'm gonna land on this bridge. It's what I was put on this earth to do. Hopefully that gets those assholes off my back for at least a little while. <laughs> Cub Crafters, bravo, bravo, golf. We will go for departure. Over. This is San Bruno, you said? This mountain right in front of us? has a flight stick instead of a Really puts into perspective how small cities actually are, doesn't it? Hey, Ted, good to see you. We're going to land on the Golden Gate Bridge. Flippin. San Francisco Tower Cup Crafters Bravo Bravo Golf Frequency Change. Welcome to sunny San Francisco. Where bush planes land on busy bridges. Oh, 
Like I said, I'm gonna land on this bridge if it kills me. Or whoever it is I land on. I will not be held responsible for any damages that occur to the bridge. You guys see Alcatraz? You see my cursor on the screen? It's right over here. Alright, I can see the bridge at around 1 o'clock. Depends on the geometry of the towers of the Bay Bridge here. Sutro Tower. What's that thing do, Kyle? We are approaching the bridge. <laughs> you guys saw that I landed on the bridge, right? There's there's evidence. There's video evidence that I landed on the bridge. <laughs> Come on, man. How are you going to play me like that? How is this a simulator? What if this was an emergency situation? Ugh. 
was going like a mile an hour on that bridge. Stupid. <laughs> I pulled off the best landing you could have pulled off. And it's like, nope, sorry. That was a beautiful landing. Ugh. Frustrating. Okay, what now? Hydration time? For sure. For sure. Ah. Drink your water. Ooh. Okay. What to play next? We have House Flipper. We have Walking Simulator. We have Universe Sandbox. And we have Power Wash Simulator. Of course, we still have one more chapter to go on Escape Simulator before that game is done. Yeah, Flight Sim's a lot of fun. It's just, it kills your, your hardware. The thing is brutal. I could play GTA 5 if you want. Okay, Universe Sandbox. Oh my god. <laughs> In my tank. Vanna plays. Good to see you. That's two for Universe Sandbox. What do we think? There's not much to do in that game. You just look at stuff. <laughs> Universe it is. Hold on, it's updating. Blow up the sun. I could do that. All right, we're in. What's new? Consistent collisions, James Webb, and planetscaping tweaks. All right. Here is our solar system. With a lovely star view. You can see the galactic disk like this. There be our sun. Okay. There we go. All right. <coughs> And I can add another sun right here. I'll screw with everything. We could also plop Stevens in 218, just dead smack in the middle of the solar system. Which, if you guys want to know how big Stevens in 218 is, here's our sun. Okay. See how if I'm, I go to place another sun, it's about the same size? You guys see this outline of it right here? 
Okay. Here's Stevenson 218. <laughs> it takes up the orbit of Saturn. It's so big. It's insane. That's Stevenson 218 compared to our tiny little practically dwarf star. It's a main sequence white star. <laughs> Supernova! Immediately! Oh, it's still expanding. Hold on. Uh, Pluto looks to be okay. Uh. Yeah. Pluto got a little crispy, but he's fine. Because it's left of Stevenson 218. A black hole! It collapsed into a black hole! Wow. Now Pluto is orbiting. Oh man, this black hole is shooting out there. That's really cool. Okay. Uh, pause. Let's. We are hiring a UI engineer. Your UI is fine. Okay. Starting a new empty simulation. There's nothing in here. Um, I'm going to take a quick five to use the potty and maybe grab a snack. Can't make the hole bigger. <laughs> Y'all is too much. Y'all is too much. How old is this game? This is Universe Sandbox 2. Um, I know it says just Universe Sandbox, but the very, very first one came out in like 2012, 2013. I got, I think I got this one for free because I bought that one almost a decade ago. Uh, but yes, I'm going to let you guys look at this lovely star field and listen to this relaxing music uh, while I go... Uh, use the bathroom. I'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. We're back. All right. All right, I couldn't find a snack that I wanted to eat, so I'm going to order food for pickup. And then, then, when it is ready, I am going to go get it. It is going to be delicious. Okay. Thank you, Creeping Jay. Yes, everyone thumbs up the video. Absolutely. Ooh, Kyle got the Halo sword in Destiny? How did you do that? How did you do that? Okay. So we could add Earth. And add a couple of the Kepler exoplanets. The moons, stars. Binary star system we can launch. Insert a black hole. Of course, we've got some galaxies that we can add here. Can't really zoom in very far once you plop it down there. Andromeda. You know what I'm saying? Kind of turns into a different type of simulator. So if I've got the Andromeda galaxy right here, say I wanted to add the sun. Got the... Where did it go? I'm still in it. Let me out! Lord. Why do I already have a sun in here? I don't want to... Okay. Here's the sun. Inside of the Andromeda galaxy. Okay. The only reason we can see it is it's there. And it's highlighted. So. Take a very long time to zoom back in. But what's hilarious is that, like, we're in the Andromeda galaxy. But the skybox is still a galactic plane. So it's like a galaxy within a galaxy. It's kind of dumb. Um, but yeah. I need to order some food. Because I am hungry. I'm going to order it for pickup. Like I said earlier. I'm a hungry boy. Ah, let's see what all we got available. Okay, what should we do in Universe Simulator? Get B-dubs. Oh, that sounds so good. Put two galaxies up against one another? Yeah, we can do that. All right, we need to move out to the galactic scale here. Let's do Milky Way. This is a classic simulation, by the way. Milky Way. And then Andromeda. Okay. They look like from a distance. I didn't change the star box or the box. How do I do that? Oh. 
Go up here. Settings. Yeah, graphics are fine. I just want to know how to change my skybox so it doesn't look like I have two tiny galaxies inside of a much bigger galaxy. I don't know. I could just look this way, I guess. Oh, here we go. Background. Could be solid black, solid white, interesting. Gray. Nebulas. Milky Way. Milky Way dark, Milky Way bright. Just stars, except those stars would, according to the Hubble Deep Field, be more galaxies. So, okay, there we are. Got the two of them right there. Now, we are working at a scale of one and a half, or one and a quarter-ish hours per second. So what we're going to do is we are going to change this to million years, year, let's just do years. Okay, and we are going to do, oops. Ten years per second. Now I can speed her up. You see, they don't look like they're moving too much, do they? Now. Let's do 100 years per second. Eight hundred years per second. They don't look like they're doing much, do they? There we go. Now you can start to see it move. All right, I'm going to uh, remove trails. Go. Okay. You see them just starting to move. See the stars? Now it is moving and only visibly moving at a rate of 100,000 years per second. Per second. Let's speed it up. Oops, I accidentally paused it. You see, these things are gravitationally attracted to each other to some degree, aren't they? Even at this distance? So, let's speed it up a little more. Half a million years a second. See if they eventually figure out that he one another or near one another. Speeding them right up. There. Sussing each other out, I guess. They look like they're getting closer to one another. Oh, they're starting to pull stars away from one another. We gotta slow this down. See these stars right here? Hold those away from one another. 
They're starting to rip each other apart, but just barely. Yeah, look at these stars kind of getting ejected here. It's like an entirely different arm. Because they're going to find a center of gravity, they're going to orbit, and they're going to tear each other apart until they form a new galaxy. See them ejecting. You're going so fast right now. See what they continue to do. I get closer to them. They keep moving away from me. Dance. Let's actually focus on our home. Sagittarius A, the black hole in the center of the Milky Way. All right, let's go. You guys just don't want to combine? Oops. I think I screwed that up. That's okay. Let's pick a simulation here. A couple million years every second and you will start to see them absorb one another until they collide That can't be accurate. They don't just disappear. Here's a tidally locked Earth. As if uh, Africa and much of South America was tidally locked to the sun. Slow that sucker down, please. You'd still have 
tons of weather, but half of the planet would just be ice. Hell, I don't even know if the Pacific Ocean would be liquid water anymore. Matter of fact, it looks like it's starting to freeze up right now. How much longer it takes. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Tidally locked Earth. That's what it would look like. Half the planet completely frozen. Oh, more than half the planet. Space balls? Should I get to eat, guys? I want to be able to walk to it. Let's try Casa Fiesta Mexican Chicken Cantina. This looks good. That. What else do they have? Nachos, empanadas. Get pupusas. I like pupusas. Hmm. Get McDonald's. I would get McDonald's, but I can't walk there. It's too far. About two miles away from me right now, and I can't walk two miles and then back and still be on the stream. You know what I mean? Yeah, forget about it. Try terraforming planets. Is that possible? Can I do that? Let's see. Close that out. Let's open a new sim. War, collisions, explosions, systems, physics, historical. Let's do systems. Do a small system. Okay. Oh! Got some guys exploding here. 20 small bodies are randomly placed in orbit around the nearby red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. Wow. Oh. Well, they are certainly... Causing a bit of a kerfluffle. Pause so I can see what this is. This planet right here 
is spewing some kind of gas all around. This is like an ice planet right here. Nestas is its name. Cuppist. Fragment. I wonder if it was hit. These ones are just colliding with each other willy-nilly right here. That is insanity. Okay, let's slow this down, I guess. Several minutes a second, my goodness. It's a quick moving system. Got fragments. Yeah, a bunch of these ones just collided with one another. So I guess we'll have to see if that dust forms other planets or moons or something. Yeah, let's just give it some time. And we'll see what happens. You see, they're fine. Just a bit toasty. Eh, they're fine. Oh, look how big the dust clouds are getting! You see, a lot of it's just getting ejected out. See, another collision was happening right over there. Right here. That jet stopped. Cuppist is still... Very strange orbit, that one. Diant, Nestas, Echinus, Essenus. Whoa, Solar Flare! Tell me when you saw that. Now we have a lot of debris. We're going to have to see if it turns into something. It is, it's like a whirlpool. Hey, I'm walking it! Da 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 da. <sighs> the red is darker. We got some of these bodies right here. See, these, these were all named bodies. They all collided with one another. This is all that's left. Look, look at this one. Eh, it looks dumb. Ooh. 
This one looks like it's beginning to form an atmosphere of some sort. That one got hit again. More collisions. This is only at a couple days per second. This is absolute chaos. Like the speed that these things must be orbiting this star is unbelievable. Like if I moved it up to a year a second. Whoa, everything flew away! <laughs> ah. My god. Who survives this crucible? Good lord, that'd be insane. I love the ones that just flew away. These fragments. Man, I'm at a couple months per second. I gotta see if this is gonna calm down. This is insanity. Look how far out these fragments got jettisoned. Wow. What are you a fragment of? There's a piece of the planet. Let's see if I can illuminate it real fast. Yeah, this is a rocky body that got flown. Just flung. There's so many other pieces. See my cursor highlighting all these pieces out in the distance? Whoa, 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 whoa. Too far, too far, too far. Zoom in so far. Look at that. I need to order my food. Starving. Tis but a scratch. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, 
Alright, back to Proxima Centauri. Is there anything left? In Look at this dust cloud just... flailing around! Do you have any planets that are actually surviving right now? Oh, hey! Starting to get something on this one here. Nastas is still blue. Look at that! Are those wisps of an atmosphere I'm seeing? Let's see, what can we do to you? Mass is two Earths. Radius is 1.2 Earths. Average temperature is 272 degrees Celsius. Eesh. It's only 13 years old. Surface gravity is very much like an Earth gravity. We could replace the object, auto orbit, zero velocity. We can... What can we do to you? Composition, surface. Okay. Motion. Okay, relative to orbital parent, it's dis- Ooh, it is very close to Proxima Centauri. It's not even- it's not even- It's so much closer than Earth would be. Um... Action. Save this object. Replace, delete, auto-orbit. Appearance. What type of core does it have? Iron, a little bit of silicate. Man, it doesn't have like a mantle or just about anything, man. Huh. I don't know if any of these are habitable, guys. There's Diant. Ooh, does Diant have water? I think it's just because it's so close, all of that ice melted away. Okay, that's... Oh wow, we caught Proxima Centauri in the middle of a uh, solar flare. Or not. Right, well, it looks like it's ejected just about everything it intends to eject. All of the fragments are very gone. You have a field of them right here. Look at all these. Yeah, okay, so this is our zone here. This is too cold, this blue ring. This green is a habitable zone. It's the Goldilocks zone. This inner ring here is red. And literally nothing we have around Proxima Centauri is even close to the green. Not a single bit. Phew. At a supersized Omega black hole. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trying to. Uh, not really letting me. It's just because I'm too close to that. Just 
change the view, get the habitable zone out of here. Don't really want trails. Leave the labels on. Ah, I don't want to add it. Whoa! Whoa! What's happening? What happened? Do you guys see this? Everything just erupted. Oh, this sucker's still yanking stuff all over the place. You guys have any idea how big black holes are? Like, it's ridiculous. You see it manipulating the screen? You can't even see it because it's so much bigger. Alright, let's add just a small little black hole. The black hole stole everything! Where's Proxima Centauri? Where'd he go? Man! Couple black holes way out here. Oh, so it was adding them. Just couldn't see them because they're black. It stole everything. Look at the trail. Hold on. Here's the black hole. And here is all of the stuff it stole from Proxima Centauri which is still over here. Then here are my two 10 million solar mass black holes. Let's see what happens when I add Sagittarius A. I don't know how big Sagittarius A is compared to these guys. Something tells me. <sighs> All right. Here's everything. I've got the white background on just because, uh, you know, you can see it. Now let's try Sagittarius A, which is one gigantic black hole.
There you go. Get an idea of the scale of it. Wah. Wah. <laughs> It is, it is, it's very bright. It's, uh... Head down. Alright, let's add... Add Sagittarius A right... Oh wow, it's flying out there! Why are they flying? Either way. This was fun, I think. <laughs> My eyes! All right, let's do something fun. Let's start a new simulation. The collisions. Actually, let's just do a blank simulation. Empty sim. Okay, we'll change the background. Well, no, the background's fine. Um, let's plop in... Stevenson... Some of these, some of these are big. Some of them not so much. Ada Karen A. Oh yeah, you remember VY Canis Majoris used to be the biggest bad guy on the block. Here's VY Canis Majoris. Here's UY Scooty, which was supposed to be even bigger. Okay, and he is bigger, significantly bigger. As you can see, the big boy. But now compare these bastards to the unbridled enormity that is Stevenson 218. It's so much brighter. It's just insanity. How is something this big? Look at that. It's just unbelievable. Now, let's add the sun, which would orbit naturally. Sun right there. This is our sun. We see this in the sky every day. And that is Stevenson 218. <laughs> it is so small. Like at a certain point when I'm zooming in, Stevenson 218 stops growing. It is mighty huge. Now let's go ahead and put a planet in orbit of the sun. Say... Earth. Need to put it at 1 AU away from the sun. There. That's how far the Earth is from the Sun. One astronomical unit. Here is Earth, basking in the glory of the Sun. <laughs> and 
And look, our entire solar system, almost all of it, everything Saturn in would be completely engulfed by this one star. Oh yeah, UI Scooty is right in between two boys right here. This was VUI Canis Majoris, which about 10 years ago was the biggest one you've ever seen. UI Scooty, which was the biggest for, I don't know, the last 10, like last five or six years. And Stevenson 218 was found just the other year. So. And these are, let me see, let me find some stars that you can see in our night sky. If you ever see Orion's belt, uh, There's Arcturus. Which is also significantly larger than our sun. Okay. There's our little boy, our little sun. This is Arcturus. Okay. There's us, little Earth. Everyone who's ever lived and died lives right there. Okay, so here's our sun. That's Arcturus. You can see that in the night sky. Sirius, which is a blue star, brilliant blue star. Right there. And of course, Rigel is an enormous blue star. Huge, absolutely huge. Much bigger than our sun. And Betelgeuse is probably the biggest star that we can see with relative ease. See, Betelgeuse is gigantic. You can see Betelgeuse with your naked eye uh, most winter nights. That's Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse, for a very long time, was the biggest star that we'd ever seen. It's huge. It's on the shoulder of Orion. <laughs> it is a bit toasty. This is our happy little planet right there. Earth. And our Earth here is one astronomical unit away from the sun. I'm going to try and get as close as I can. Try and get into our atmosphere here. I'm within the Earth's atmosphere. There's the sun. Right there. And that's how big it would be. It's about, you know, like a pencil eraser held at arm's length, chilling up in the sky. And this is what those other stars would look like if they were in our night sky. It'd be something else, wouldn't it? And those are all well and truly massive. Absolutely. They're enormous. But then... You have things like galaxies. Which are pretty gigantic. Milky Way, for example. We're still zooming out, by the way. I haven't stopped.
Still zooming out. <laughs> Still zooming out. It's taking a while. Here we go. Starting to speed up just a bit. Just me. Finally adjusted to the scale. <laughs> Space is big. It is so impossibly big. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Hurry up and make my food. So hungry. Oh, it's ready. Very cool. All right. What do you guys say we play a little GTA next, eh? What do you think? I'll be back with some of that. Uh. Ooh, gonna take another break. Eat your hat? No. No. Yeah, play a little GTA next. Tank time. Okay, just gotta exit out of this game. Alright. Grab some chapstick. Okay. Come on up a game folder here. Okay. There are a bunch of games I could play that I would actually love to play if we just decide to stream until like four in the morning or whatever. Uh, GTA. Uh, we still haven't played Walking Simulator. Still haven't done Power Wash Simulator, which is on the thumbnail. Um, yeah. I also have all of the new Call of Duties. I just bought them. Vanguard and Cold War. Um, this is going to be very controversial, but I actually like Vanguard more than Cold War. Don't tell anybody. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go get my food. I'll be back in like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, it's just down the street. So I'll be right back. I actually do have to get ready, though, because it's like 10 degrees outside. <laughs> uh. Uh. 
Uh, this is gonna be fun. Okay. I'm off to go get some food now. I will be right back. And you will see me with steaming hot Mexican food. And it's going to be delicious. Okay.
We are back. We are indeed back. Uh. Oh. It is very cold outside. Very cold. There we go. I'm not quite so blown out. Woo! Alright, so what's up next? It's good to be back, Creepin' Jay. Thank you for sticking around. Oh. BBG. This sweater, too, could be yours. Follow the link in the video description to visit the Black Beanie Gaming merchandise page. Get yourself a cozy, sturdy enough to stand up to the elements sweatshirt or hoodie. Oh, let's see if they put onions on my beans. Eh, good enough. Ooh. Got that rice dough. Whole cup of it. Queso. Okay, Ooh. All right, so what you guys up to? Guys, doing Ooh. it's about to turn into a mukbang stream. <laughs> Ooh, what you gonna get to, uh, for dinner? Got some tacos, but God almighty, they're falling apart. Oh, that's right. You're getting B-dubs. Ma'am, I need some napkins. Good enough. You know what we should do while I eat? Speaking of simulators.
All right. <laughs> We're going to put him in the gladiatorial arena. We're going to say... 20 golden knights. Going to have them with their backs to the emperor. His pulpit is right here. Okay, and for team two. We're going to have... 250 skeleton warriors. Bring it on, the Golden Knights say. Bring it on. And this will be our entertainment dinner and a share. Ah, and load the units. There we go. We have 20 golden knights. 10 here, 10 here. 250 of the deadliest undead warriors. Shall we begin? Begin! This might not take too long. Oh my god. This is not gonna be long enough for me to eat. Now you can finish a taco before they finish and win? I took one bite! Ooh. How many Spartans? Ten thousand wouldn't fit in the arena. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. They just breezed through them. Okay. Do Spartans. Uh, let's just do the same. Let's just do 250. We'll show you exactly how much better the Spartans are than skeleton warriors. Begin! Okay, so they're still killing them. But is it enough to kill some of the knights? Is 
They're lasting longer. I might even be able to finish a taco. Yeah, I took a bite. It's already better. Or not. <coughs> That's insane. These knights are ridiculous. All right. Creeping J says one thousand versus one thousand. Whoops. Terminators versus Golden Knights. I don't know if I have Terminators. Mm -hmm. I have Thanos. Put Thanos here. Let's put the Golden Knights. Here. One epic showdown. Thanos versus the Golden Knights. Why are there so many Thanoses? I thought I only said one. There should only be one Thanos. One. Stupid game. The world doesn't need that many Thanoses. The universe, even. It's too many Thanoses. This is Thanos with the gun. Let's see if we can even get him there. Come on, homie. <laughs> he is a coward. <laughs> Thanos is like, nope, I don't want those golden knights. You can't make me. Third time's the charm. Okay, one Thanos, 20 Golden Knights. Who will win?
Ooh, that was fast. Yeah, this is exactly what we get for using modded units. Rest alive. Thanos version 2. have them go against Captain America. Let's try that. One man. Twenty nights. Yeah, he must have chickened out. Come on, Captain America. He fell off the bridge, too. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Is this all you got, Marvel? I'm gonna meet out here in the middle of nothing. The middle of this wasteland area. Except going to be Two hundred and fifty Spartans, Halo Spartans, versus the Flood. Ten thousand of them.
They've already killed a thousand of them. Two thousand. Can they even get close? They're breaking through the line! This is what the flood does, they swarm! Looked almost lopsided there for a second! There it is! There's your result. Hey, Thomas, welcome back. Ah, taquitos. In queso. Yeah. This one's a classic. I really don't want them to get around them on the edges. Are the Spartans really that good? Oh yeah, they're really good. <laughs> and they have the high ground. Don't think they care that they're outnumbered, do you?
It's a good computer. But trust me, it cannot handle much more than that. They're starting to kill some of them. Corbin, good to see you. Welcome back. Not many Spartans left. Killed about half of them. Just a nub. How much longer do you think our Spartans are holding out? There's 60 of them left and they've only killed about 4,000. <laughs> Hydration time? I don't want you guys to miss the action. The last few Spartans left. Insurmountable odds. Can they do it? No, but it's fun to watch. <clears throat> there you go. Man, talk about a Fyrick victory. They lost almost 33% of all of their soldiers, all 15,000 of them, just to kill 300 Spartans. That's the going rate for a Spartan right now. For every one Spartan, you get like a dozen Persians. All right, hang tight real quick.
Uh, there's not much in this sci-fi category, actually. It's kind of unfortunate. You have a mech walker and a tornado trooper. They're kind of lame. But I'm pretty sure the mech walkers, like, I think Robocop, I think, is what they're based off of. We'll see in a sec. Yeah. <laughs> this is not going to go well for the Persians. This is not going to go well for the Persians. All right. And go. <laughs> oh, no. Let's control one. Excuse me. Oh my god, I'm insta-killing him. Poor bastards. I have 10,000 health! Oh my god! <laughs> ah, look at him go! Oh my god! They don't stand a chance! What do you do? What do you do? You have a sword and this is what you see! What do you do? What do you do? Oh my god! You walk up, hit it once, and hope the thousands of you behind that! Oh my god! Oh my god, look at it! They're just flying everywhere! Ah! Look at them! Drop a nuke, hold on. <laughs> it counts as a win for the Persians because it killed all of the mech walkers before the blast killed all of the uh, Persians. But, yeah. We put my walkers up against Persians. <laughs> okay, now what now what do we put up against the mech walkers? Oh no. No. Okay. So that's the shape it's supposed to take, their unit. Let's kind of do that, I guess. It's... There we go. That'll fit. Uh, okay, what now? Bully McGuire? Uh... I have Deadpool. Got Nazi zombies, Germans, Imperials, Orcs, Halo Marines. Uh, 
Got Velociraptors. Space Marines, Elephants, Rhinoceros, a Doom Guy, and for regular ones I've got like Heavy Knights. Ooh, should we do it against the Golden Knights to see how many Golden Knights it'll take to kill them? Oh, Deadpool, okay, we'll do Deadpool. How many Deadpools? Oh, uh, let me see. I don't have Godzilla. <sighs> hey. I don't have Godzilla. Jari! <clears throat> 690 it is. 690 Deadpools versus 150 Mac Walkers. I do not see this going well for uh, everybody's favorite Merc. Ah. 69 million Deadpools. Oh. Ah. Here we go. That's a better formation. Oh, God. All right, Deadpools. Do what you do best. Don't die. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa, they're killing them! They're doing it! Deadpool has 33,000 health! It just takes an army of dead <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> Look at him go! You can't stop him, more just come! He does 900 damage! Ah! Oh god, they use the Nolan North voice. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. <laughs> my god. Yeah, Nolan Nor North voiced Deadpool for the Deadpool video game a long time ago. I believe it was that long ago. They didn't kill a single Deadpool. They didn't kill a single one. Not a single Deadpool. That's insane. That is insane. Okay. Well. <laughs> 10,000 versus... Well, no, no, no. Let's, let's keep the... The Deadpools. We'll have them hold their position here. And instead of the 300 Spartans, it can be 300 Deadpools. Three hundred Deadpools versus Fifty thousand chickens.
I'm sorry, 50,000 penguins. It's a lot of penguins. It's up to you, Deadpool. Can you withstand the penguins? Actually, we should change the map. There we go. Someplace cold. Okay. Here's the hill. Let's have their unit B1. Uh. Okay. And as many penguins as we can fit. <laughs> this is so stupid. We must start the battle. Oh my god. I'm at 60 frames per second right now. Wait for it. 50,000 units on the screen. Oh my god, it's gonna be terrible. So many penguins. My god. Look at these. It's never ending. Oh my god, 15 frames per second. Through the trees, no less. All that standing between the penguins. Hold on, I have an idea. <coughs> All right, let's see. Uh, A penguin has 60 health and 12 damage. Ranged? They can't throw anything. Stupid. Okay. There will be a table. One table. It is the objective of all 50,000 penguins to make it to this table. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> table will destroy the universe! Uh, mostly sunny with some sun. My favorite kind of weather. Christ alive. Okay. We have 50,000, roughly 40,000 penguins because the geometry kind of got rid of a whole lot of them. Scores of penguins. And this table. This table is the envy of many. It is Deadpool's job to keep the penguins from reaching this table. Begin. What? The, pe the table's moving! The table's moving! What is it doing? No! They killed the table! Deadpool slaughtered the table! Oh, the penguins aren't gonna like that. 
Oh, the penguins are not going to like that. Look at their rageful waddles. Oh, no. Listen to them groaning, mourning the table. Oh no, that table will be the death of us all. Penguins, you are incredibly slow. That being said, there are a lot of you. A lot of you. It's the greatest game ever made, what do you mean? There's so many penguins! <laughs> I can't believe the table tried to kill the Deadpools. And the Deadpools slaughtered the table. That was the only bargaining chip that the Deadpools had to fight against the penguins. Now the penguins are just furious. Look at them go. Oh no. Deadpool, what have you done? These are more penguins than a killer whale could eat. Look at this. World War Three, more like Wah Wah Three. Because of how this game works, you know there's going to be a body wall. Oh, look at all the dead penguins! <laughs> <laughs> He's barely even taking any damage. Look, I bet I could just walk out into the middle of him. There are so many penguins. <laughs> There's a lot of penguins. He's pecking my ass. He is pecking my ass. God, these penguins are really upset that I broke their table. Oh my god. Uh, that was a bit much. Okay. <laughs> 2,000 tables versus 3,000 penguins versus 2,500 chickens. I like the way you think.
After a long, fraught battle with many ups and downs, the tides turned many times in the Penguin Massacre of 2022. But, in the end, the Penguins, the Deadpools, and their friends the Chickens realized who the true enemy was. The tables. Once they realized this, they knew there was only one thing that they could do. They needed to join forces and defeat both the tables and their armored counterparts, the dressers. This is the battle to end all battles. The burgundy landings, oh my god. Can the chickens and the penguins and what's left of the dead bulls? There weren't that many to begin with. They're just really overpowered. Can. They defeat our worst furniture. Where the hell are they? Oh, they're over here. These are the penguins. Handful of dead pools. These are the chickens. This is the battle of our time. Here they come. They're on the landing craft.
Oh, we've lost some penguins already! Stay out of the explosions! Come, penguins! This way! Come, penguins! Ah! Here they are. Hurry, penguins! Dear mother of God! There's so many of them! Mother of God! What could we ever do against such overwhelming odds? Come, penguins! No, penguins! Kill the chair! The table! They don't want you over for dinner, they just want to kill you! Saving Private Penguin! No! 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 I'm being overwhelmed! No! My God. This is an overwhelming victory for the tables. <laughs> Look at all the tables! They killed them all! My god! They're insatiable! How much health does a table have? 400! Lord have mercy, we need something stronger to fend off the tables. They'll be back. We need, we need stronger forces. We need to upgrade the T-Rexes. That'll do it. And maybe uh, 250 Deadpools. I think that'll do the trick. Tanks. I wish I had tanks, but I do not. There are no vehicles. Man, we're gonna need a little bit of everything to defeat these tables. We didn't even get to the dressers. My god. Okay. What I've done... is I've added a lot of T-Rexes. Now, the T-Rexes are pretty OP. Here are the Deadpools. Penguins are around here somewhere. There they are. Look at this He's like, uh... There's a lot of T-Rexes around here. The Descendants and the Ancestors. Go figure. <laughs> Look, at all. Look at all the T-Rexes. I feel like I should give them a speech. A day may come when the courage of Deadpool fails. My God. I know they look just like Rexy. Good, they're manning the stations up top too. Okay. Here they come. Get ready, Rexes. We're only gonna have one shot at this. I hope you're hungry. 
Because you're about to get a shitload of fiber. <laughs> They're up there in the bunker. <laughs> They're keeping watch. Here we go. One T-Rex has 10,000 health. We'll see how long they can last. One Deadpool is worth approximately three T-Rexes. Here they go! Come on, penguins! I know you won't contribute- oh! Oh, that one just got blown up. Come on, penguin! You can make it. Oh! Come on, penguin! Come on! It's a big world out there. <laughs> we gotta get to the furniture. So far the tables haven't killed one of us yet. This might bode well. Having T-Rexes on your side is probably a good thing. This is more than any penguin could hope to see in their lifetime. My god. It's magnificent. I'd be remiss if I didn't get at least one shot in, excuse me. The water runs brown with timber! Oh, this penguin just ran away. <laughs> oh no, the tables have killed six. My god, they're merciless. They killed a Rex. Two Rexes. Three. The Rexes can go pretty far out, it seems. They're hungry. They want fiber. Oh, no! Saving Ryan. Oh, that just said saving Ryan Reynolds instead of... Lord! These tables! They're incessant! You killed table. We need to stop them. They're flanking us. No! Don't let them get behind you. Come on. Saving Private Ryan Reynolds. We've got a line of T-Rexes doing their duty and eating tables. No kitchen furniture shall storm this beach. You cannot have France. God, there's so many. Man, it's a good thing those chickens could time travel and turn back into T-Rexes. All right, Kyle, go get your wings.
My God. <laughs> this is an ode to saving Private Ryan, by the way. <laughs> The dressers! They finally made it to the dressers! God, it's absolute carnage. Oh! This is worse than the Amazon. Wow, these dressers are OP. Look at them killing the Rexes. All the dinos went extinct. There aren't many of them left now.
God, these dressers are OP! Oh, God. <laughs> Bonk! God, these dressers! How, how are they so powerful? Look at them stealthily gliding through the water. Like driftwood. Over the T-Rex carcasses they go. Oh god, there's another boat unloading them. Look out, Rexes! Battle isn't over yet. A flank of special ops dressers! Maple Team 6! Come on, Rex. Can I just walk over them? Yes. the beauty of being a Tyrannosaurus. No, don't bite them, just step on them! This is fantastic. Who's got the artillery? Does the artillery belong to the dressers? Don't send a chicken to do a T-Rex's job. The day is won for the T-Rexes. A lot of penguins that unfortunately didn't make it because this is a goddamn minefield. Are there any penguins left? He never thought he'd see the day. Vengeance. Against the furniture. This is a happy penguin waddling, guys. Couldn't have done it without you, Deadpool. Ah. Uh. T-Rex has made sure of that. <laughs> that was the stupidest thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what now? What now? We go show 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 games. I know what to play.
Maybe one day, mustache. Maybe one day. Do you play on PC? <sighs> Time to clean this filthy house. Power washing, baby. See, I don't know if we'd be able to play together. I play on PC, my dude. Nice. Mark? You mean like Markiplier? That's a pretty dope dude. Maybe we could then. You never know. I normally don't play online though. Believe it or not. I'll do like races and stuff, but that's about it. Yeah, baby, get nice and clean. Mmm. Is the most relaxing stuff ever. Look at that. Nice.
Ah, I love it. Forza Horizon 5. Yeah, I love that game. I haven't played it in a little over a month, though. I do love it, though. I think it's fantastic. Progression feels stunted, though. The Horizon games haven't really figured out how to make a truly rewarding progression system since Forza Horizon 2. My humble opinion. Two and three are still my favorites. There we go. Sparkle shine. Oh, it's beautiful. Just look at all that dirt melt away. Get the underside of this gutter so we don't have to do it later. And the downspout. Go. done. Washing machine, baby. You better believe it. You better believe it. Nice. Let's get this stuff in the front. Let's our house get this freaking filthy. It's unbelievable. Ah, 
gotta get the railing. We're getting there, we're getting there. This house is Alcatraz! Alcatraz! There are any Eddie Izzard fans that should uh, be pretty funny. Finally. Clean this down spout. Let's get the wall. There we go. And the window. Nice. Okay, on to this side. we go. God, I love those extensions. They're so freaking cool. Unbelievably valuable.
Oh, I love it. I love it. Among us. Listen, are you just trying to rile Roni up? But no, I deleted that game off my computer ages ago. We will not be playing any more of that junk. I think Among Us had its time in the sun and uh, is thoroughly. Thoroughly dead now. What was it? Like, what were the two, like, big pandemic games? There was, like, Fall Guys, and then there was Among Us. Neither of those games are really popular anymore. They might be, who knows? Are those games popular anymore? I never really got into either. Little kids ruin the games. Fall Guys always looked fun. I just never got it. Not to say I didn't understand it. I just, I literally never owned it. There always be a bunch of other games that I wanted to buy. Like, I still want to get a PlayStation 5. I'm just not willing to pay $800 for something that doesn't play games as well as my computer does. <laughs> like, the only reason I would get a PlayStation 5 is to play Ratchet and & Clank and Horizon Zero Dawn. That's it. For the new Horizon game, Forbidden West. So it would be really frustrating to spend $800 on something where I'd only play two games. Granted, I could write it off as a business expense, but... It's not like I would get reimbursed for that.
There we go. Although I actually saw somebody selling a PlayStation 5 for only $550. What that tells me is that it's probably used and broken. You see, I don't need an Xbox Series X because I have a PC. So, I mean, like literally anything that releases for... Anything exclusive that releases for Xbox, I just get because I'm on Xbox Game Pass. I just get it on my PC. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I spend 16, what, 15, 16 dollars a month, and I barely have to pay for games anymore. Especially because Microsoft, like, is just going to keep buying up game studios. And, like, normally I'm against that kind of thing. Like, I don't like the idea of one company owning everybody. Um... But Activision just, other than just getting rid of the company completely because of how terrible they were, um, I think Microsoft buying them out and getting rid of literally all of the leadership, that toxic, terrible leadership, and then letting the employees take their time to make games that they want to make, I think that's just the best thing that could happen. That, and it pushes pressure on, it puts pressure on Sony to deliver games on multiple platforms. And if not just Xbox and PlayStation, then at least on the PC. I'm a firm believer that the, P, the price of building a computer for gaming is still cost prohibitive enough that the majority of people are going to buy a console. Like most people, when they have a computer, they have like a laptop. And, like, it could play Sims or, like, you know, Minecraft. Or games like Among Us or CSGO. Just games that anybody can play on, like, any system. So, games like the new God of War or the new Horizon, like, they should be on PC, too. Because the overwhelming majority of people who have like, who play video games, don't play it on a PC. They play it on their phone. And a Switch. <laughs> All right. We're almost ready to move up to the roof. I'm pretty sure Microsoft could afford Sony. I'm not even joking. There we go. I get the whole window and the sill. That's a good question, though. Hold on. Like, 
Microsoft is worth like a trillion dollars or something like that. Oh, I know. This roof is disgusting. What have they done to you? It's okay, baby. I'll clean you up. I'll give you bath. Eat this house right. But yeah, Microsoft could buy over a dozen Activisions. You know what I mean? The best part is, is they paid cash. Like, they paid for it liquid. They didn't, like, come up with some weird money-moving deal. They just... They were like, I want it. And they bought it. Let's hope that provides a little relief for the amount of people that were brutalized by working at Activision. Is the last person who should be anywhere near another person, any person, is Bobby Kotick. The man is a menace. He deserves to be locked in a room for the rest of his life. And I hope he is. Damn it. Seeing as he probably won't be. I'm just glad he can't leverage Activision, Call of Duty, and all of those other games that they got. Overwatch, World of Warcraft, everything. I'm just glad they can't leverage that popularity of those franchises to uh, do literally whatever they want. And games media will literally just turn a blind eye to all sorts of terrible behavior just so they can maintain, like, a good rapport with the company. So they still get their access to early titles and or early access to titles and breaking news and all sorts of stuff. Thinking IGN, GameSpot, things like that. very rare that a lot of people will take these companies to task for the terrible things that they do to people. Man, this roof was green. Gracious me. Almost got the garage roof done. No. Nice. Let's gotta get the front. Blech. He's quite gross. Am I getting tired? No, not yet. Why? It 
Saturday, man. I got nothing better to do. How many people in here are interested in the next uh, couple Minecraft tutorials? I've got some updates about those. Nothing to show, just like an update on my progress. Uh, in case you didn't see the uh, community update I put on... Put up on... Uh, gracious, when was that? Thursday? Friday? What is Thursday? Yes, I have finished the Shang or the Block Shanghai. God, never again. I have finished the Golden Gate Bridge script. Um, so all I have to do for that is record and edit. which is about half of the process. But uh, since all of the builds for the next couple tutorials are done, then it's really just a matter of making sure that the scripts are good and recording them. And then I can finally start pumping them out. Just at the moment, I don't know if I'm going to... Like, once I finish a script, should I just move on to the next script and then not record until I have all the scripts done, or... I don't know yet. So, I'm figuring that out. But I don't imagine it'll take me too much longer to figure out. Top of this chimney cleaned. Yeah. Ah, this roof is disgusting. Where are the gutters? Yeah. Oh, you're building the Patronus Towers. Nice. But I'm also kind of torn on the order that I should do things. The Golden Gate Bridge is coming first. Um, even though I'm not doing milestone builds for a while, um, that was the 10,000 subscriber milestone. We did pass 10,000 subscribers. So then there's that one. But a lot of people are really excited to see the Freedom Tower Redux. But I really want to get Shanghai World Financial out because it's been sitting on the back burner since... Jesus, since 2020? I spent most of last year doing the damn Shanghai Tower. Hardest building I've ever had to make. Ridiculous. But none of the buildings that I have now are going to be anywhere near that difficult to make. So again, don't really know what to do. But it's not like I have to worry about figuring out how to build them, because they're all already built. It's just what order do I make the tutorials in? Golden Gates first, but what's next? You rage quit Shanghai Tower? <laughs> oh, I wish I had that option. I quit that thing so many times. Like, you could come up to me and be like, I hate this tower. And I'm like, yeah, me too. There we 
go. Again there. Any second now. There we go. Is this game free? Uh, I don't think so. I think it was like 10 bucks. 10 or 15 dollars. It's got a lot of content considering. It costs just as much as that escape simulator game and the escape simulator game so far Although challenging, hasn't been anywhere near as rewarding. Like, you solve a couple of puzzles, but... Once you solve the puzzles, you don't have anything to do. It doesn't have any replay value. It's really, really fun, though. I just wish there were more puzzles. Like, they've relied on the community, so it's like, the puzzles that they designed... Like, you can figure them out, and then you can complete them. But, like, once I'm done, like, there's there's nothing else from the creators. It's, it's a lot of uh, community-made puzzles. And that'll be just like Super Mario Maker. Which I don't know if you've ever tried to play Super Mario Maker. All the community levels on that, but they make you want to die. They're so ridiculously hard. Plus, random people are not game developers. Make more levels. That's all I ask. Yeah, I mean, it's a cheap game, but... Well, it's not cheap, but it's relatively inexpensive compared to other games. Awesome, though. Gutter. The fascia. Oh, 
There we go. Wooden trim. Word? Where's that? No! Wooden trim! Two more. One more. Ah, uh, you. Trying to make the Burj Al Arab. I've had that suggested a lot. It's a pretty dope building. Good idea. Oh, wait, no. I forgot there's wooden trim around windows and doors. Frame, post. Move! Fascia, garage roof. Window frame, window frame, porch. Wooden trim. Wooden trim. Wooden trim. <laughs> trim. Ah! Oh! Look at all that dirt. Yeah, boy! Man, this guy's got some hops. I just jumped on top of a van. That's a vertical leap. Too easy. Of course, there's nothing difficult about it, actually. <laughs> Well, Creepin' J, you can do the Shanghai Tower one, because all three are out. It's just, uh, brutal. It is very brutal. Ah. All right. What are we playing now? That guy is Spider-Man. Yes, he is.
We have cleaned this house. There's the playground. Hydration time! Ah! Okay. I have hydrated. Play Five Nights at Freddy. I do not own that. Fortunately, I do not own it. Play GTA with your tank? I can do that. <laughs> I... I can do that. I can do that. We've got hydration time, and we've got tank time. I'm loading into the launcher. Okay, where should we try to go with the tank? Because I never make it very far. It's it's, it's kind of difficult to control. So it's like... <laughs> at a certain point, you, you run over somebody and the cops start chasing you. It's just inevitable. I want to see if I can make it to Fort Zancudo. All right. Top of the mountain. Ah. Uh, I do have online. Uh, the only problem is that I do not have a tank online, nor can I afford one online. I could try to get to the top of Chiliad. All right. Franklin's my guy with the tank. Gotta get to the airport. How much is this game? Uh, I do not know. That is a good question. I bought this game a long time ago, and I have not really, uh... <laughs> I haven't fiddled with anything yet.
Who's my favorite GTA character? Franklin. I think Trevor's the funniest, but Franklin's my favorite. Franklin and Lamar just kill me. All right. We got the tanky poo. What should we name our, uh, what should we name our tank? My vote's Terry. Terry the tank. After Terry Jeffords in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Kyle, welcome back. You're just in time for tanks. How are your wings? It's Thanksgiving, everybody. Hope you brought a bib. Terry loves his tank. There he is, Terry the Tank. Thank you. Can you imagine being the guy, like, in that toll booth? Good evening, Mr. Franklin. All right. Try and keep the turret centered here. I can't believe people would try to cut off a tank. Okay, so where did we say? Mount Chiliad? Oh, garlic parmesan. That's their best sauce. I don't care if someone stole your car. Ah! <laughs> Tony the tank. Ooh. Ah. Hard to see where I'm going. All right, up the mountain we go. Get the cops on me while I go up the mountain. I don't think I'll even have to try. Once I get on the highway, if I even make it to the highway, I think they're going to be all over me. Move! God, I hate traffic. Hey, there it is. on a vehicle he was in the way oh, <laughs> this never stops being funny <laughs> what are you gonna do against the freaking tank I told you I didn't even make it to the highway yet Excuse me. Need to get out of the way. Jesus. Trying to go to the mountain, doing a little sightseeing for the day. <laughs> Excuse me. Really not interested in whatever you're selling, sorry. Must have hit the curb. All right, here we go. 
finally on the highway on the road again Shoot to kill? I'm just driving here! What did I do to you? <laughs> oh. Don't make me point my nose at you! That's what I thought. Did you see him? He's like, I would rather crash my car than get poked by your nose. I'm gonna try and catch up to this van. Going so fast. <laughs> I know, a guy on a motorcycle. Move! Reckless driver, how dare you. It's okay, the lag will be temporary, I promise. trying to go over there. That's all I'm trying to do. Oops. <laughs> Drive by smackaroo. Bop! Alright. Who shot me? Ugh. Take the keys out of the ignition. This doesn't have keys. Gracious me. Oops. Excuse me. Sorry. Couple of bikers. Yeah, you're probably right. Was that Clark Griswold? How dare you be funny? I'm getting there, I think. Just 
a matter of time. Doop, 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 doop. It's mainly bulletproof. I just can't get um, explosions. We'll make it, don't worry. Excuse me! Sorry! You guys are going to have to deal with a little bit of lag. Ah! I don't know what happened there. So annoying. Seriously, couldn't go over a fence. Goodness me. Anyone else? No? Okay. Oh man, that's a lot of lag. All right. Fully McGuire in GTA, wouldn't that be something? How am I that rich? Stock market, my friend. This is obnoxious. I <laughs> know the lag is so bad. I'm going to try and keep it aimed down. See if that helps. It'll be just like GTA 2. Seriously, bullets aren't going to do anything to this thing, guys. Explosions will, but bullets, nope. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do.
All right, how's that? terrain vehicle. Piss me off, helicopter! There we go. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Just need to wiggle. Use the tree. Come on, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Ha 
<laughs> that guy on the motorbike, what on earth did I just run into? There we go. Going up the mountain, coppers, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. I've got a tank this time. You'll never take me alive. Oh man, I'm getting all kinds of rumbles. No! You're coming with me! So are you. Two cars enter, one tank leave. <laughs> I squashed its butt. Look at its butt. How was its. Om nom nom nom. Om nom 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 nom. This will not end well for you. Ah! Stuck in a tree. I had to be very careful with the trees. Alright, here we go. Can you stop it? Jesus! You need some serious backup. Well, I need you to get off my back. How's that sound? Where'd you go? Bitch. How big is the search radius? Oh. It's everywhere. How do I get up this goddamn mountain? I only ever fly. Oh, for God's sakes. Excuse me. Swear to God, we're going to make it. I swear to God, we are going to make it. If we could land on the Golden Gate Bridge in a Cessna, we can climb to the top of Mount Chiliad in a tank. Baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. I'm right here. That's right, give me a boost. A boost. I need a boost. Need a boost. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Damn. It's 
Let's try it sideways, shall we? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. go Dislodge. That works. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if I can make it to the top of the mountain. The tank just doesn't have the torque. <laughs> you spin me right round, baby, right round like a tank. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Right. Those guys sure were annoying, weren't they? Tell you what, this tank sure can't take a beating. Get out of the way! Ugh. Oh! Train, help me! Whew. That was tough. Well, since we can't make it up the mountain, where should we go? Oh! The ocean. Maze Bank. I can do that. I don't know if I have a cargo bob. If I had a cargo bob, I could probably lift my tank. Excuse me. Stay 
Yeah, me. Go to a military base. Ooh, Fort Zancudo. Excuse me. I know the way to Fort Zancudo. Excuse me. Just a love tap. Lord have mercy, those helicopters are annoying. that much to the north you got a little itty bitty part with the red dead redemption treasure hunt but other than that it's really not much now fort zancudo is right there that's where i think i'm gonna go These helicopters are obnoxious, aren't they? Ridiculous. I don't know what those guys think that that's going to accomplish. Now, this unfortunately is probably where this journey will end because this is the military. <laughs> They are not going to take kindly to me barging in here. Fighter jet! What I want! Christ. Run, Franklin! Damn! <laughs> Ugh. Frustrating. Very frustrating. Cost me five out of my billion dollars. <laughs> I almost conquered that mountain with a tank. Ugh. All right, hold on. I want to look up some cheat codes. I don't want a stunt plane. Okay, hold on. Hmm. 
Ooh. So apparently there is a hunting mission. <laughs> so apparently there's a hunting mission you can play as with Trevor. And once you finish the mission, once you kill two deer, you can leave the mission and you won't get any stars no matter what you do. You can go to the base, take a jet, store it, and then complete the mission to return to normal. And then you'll have it. Wow. Sounds like a lot of issues, though. All right, hold on. One, nine, 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 two, two, seven, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, six. What do you mean, cheat denied? Oh, nine, 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 two, two, seven. Six, seven, eight, six, seven, six. Whoa, You're killing me. I have this thing memorized now. One, one, nine, 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 two, two, seven, six, seven, seven, eight, six. Seven, six. Go on, my jet. Thank you. Well, this is a stunt plane, but whatever. Don't hit my plane. You imbeciles. I'm entirely sure what you hope to accomplish. Assholes. Oh, come on. Lord have mercy, that was ridiculous. Ooh. I love flying in this game. Absolutely love it. Not just because I'm good at it. I wish you could have the Harrier in story mode. That'd be really cool.
All right, where to? Do you like flying until you crash? Same here, buddy. Same here. Did I make it to the top? Unfortunately, no. The tank couldn't make it. What's Franklin's flying skill? Not great. can tell. Fighting him. Now Franklin's helicopters should be right in here. That's my gold Luxor. I don't know what other types of planes I have is Franklin. I don't even know if I have any. Not my best. They're bankrupt! Of course! Now land on the bridge in GTA? I can do that. The Luxor Deluxe. Whatever wants to spawn. I wish you could fly one of those. Hold on, let me get the, uh, let me buy the, the other one. We have the Vestra, we have the Bezra, which is basically the Jet, but oh, okay, okay. a stunt plane instead of a legit plane. Oh, okay, the other one disappeared. Hey, Nanny, welcome. Got that. <laughs>
Where to? Which bridge should I land on? Although, to be honest, I think that I will fly around until... Uh... I get the, the jet delivered. It's not impossible to park... I'm sorry, to land on the freeway. It's just there is heavy collision in this versus uh, Flight Sim. I'm pretty sure my jet is wider than the roadway. This may be somewhere through here. I just don't know where I would touch down. There's so much traffic. I've managed to touch down. It wasn't much. I'm flying a solid gold jet all the way across Los Santos. Flexing on all these boys and girls. That'd be pretty dope if it was actually gold. <laughs> it's solid gold. Uh, give me my email that you delivered my plane. Ugh. All I want, you horrible bastards. I just want a plane. Good one. No texting and flying. Man, I couldn't even fight that. It was intense. Gracious. <laughs> I 
and it's like, oh, sorry, of course. Okay, well, that was fun. Trevor has to have a jet or something. He was asking to get spiked. If anything, he should pay me for the product. I don't need the socialized police. Huh? Yeah. Didn't realize that was walled off. Move! Oh, this car is terrible. Franklin is the only one that gets a good starting car. Let's see, what do I have in here is Franklin, or as Trevor. And it's empty. Well, that's not too bad. Motorcycle. A Chevy Chevelle. Gotta get all the way back to Trevor's hangar, which is all the way up in Shady Sands, or is it Shady Shores, whatever the hell that place is that Trevor lives. That is me not paying the least bit of attention to what I'm doing. Follow the traffic rules as I get there? Ooh, boy. That'd be something. there. Grandma used to have a Chevelle. 
Uncle once took out for a joyride. <laughs> this is what that looks like, right? Like, I'm not imagining that. This looks like a Chevelle with, like, an Impala back. I don't know much about older cars, but... I know some of them. Some of them. Of them. Made it! Alright, what all do I have beside this stupid plane? Oh, I have a tank too! Woo! What do you know? Yeah, definitely. 60s tank. Am I doing this the entire day? I've already done it for eight hours. I can keep going. I'm having fun. For most games played in a video. Good. I want the stunt plane. The one that's like a jet, but it's not a jet. This one. Man, I love the internet. Porn and retail. Well, so we get that. Might as well play around in the tank. It has a trophy system on it, and yet it does absolutely nothing to get asshole cops off of my ass. You know, I've already played around in the tank. Hold on. We play in the helicopter. Is this the only helicopter I got, the Frogger? <gasps> I've got a buzzard! Where is it? There it is, there it is! Firepower! Ooh, ah, ah. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, look at that haze! Where did this come from? I don't know how to fire. Aircraft yaw, which will cinematic camera, exit vehicle, aircraft next weapon, aircraft fire. It's A. Okay. I've got missiles. Homing off and machine gun. Dope. Man, I can't see a thing. Can you guys see anything? How long was that video? Should attack the military with that. Mm.
Man, look at that. Nothing. The whole world is gone. Because it's 1121 for me. Hell yeah, I'll play as long as I want. It'll be fine. I don't know what to do. I can't see anywhere enough to fly. Hmm. It might not be like this everywhere else. Let's see. Play with mods. I don't know how to mod it, actually. I mean, I've never tried, but... It's not like it is with Fallout and uh, Skyrim, where you can just do your Nexus mod manager thing and then have it work. Man, it is... Quite foggy. Oh, no. Someone just like, ah! Yeah, I don't know how to aim this thing. There we go. Car. Why do these people stop? Man, the military was just like, we don't want you here. <laughs> Away I went. It just disintegrated me. And I rematerialized inside a hospital some miles away. Shut up. This ain't right. <laughs> the NPCs in these games kill me. They are so funny. What are you, some kind of liberal junkie?
I mean, most cities are dangerous. But, like, statistically speaking... <sighs> First off, it's like that in every city you go to, but... It's really not going to be that bad. There's plenty of stuff to see and do. A lot of food. Shouldn't let that keep you from exploring a place that's really cool. Go. Just trying to make it back to my airfield, that's all. Naval, you live in L.A.? It's dope. How many people live in California? Almost there. There it is. Oops. How long do I have to wait for it to spawn? Oh, is that out over there? Never mind. Might be. San Diego.
Oh god, the control. It's so nice. What should I do with this thing? I think San Diego is better than LA. Interesting. I've been to San Diego, but I've never been to LA, so I wouldn't know. God, could you imagine what that would sound like? A jet flying that low overhead as you're just walking on the street? Hit the bus. Damn. Ah. Felt like I was just about to skirt over it. Damn. That was really frustrating. I went through all that to get that damn plane. Ah. Whoa. I'll say. The bus was like, oh no, my ass. Florida's not too bad, just don't go in the summer. It's awful. Like, legitimately terrible. It's so hot, it is so humid. Hurricanes that last for weeks. That's a good point, so enjoy it while you can. See, Arizona's not bad. I just don't like the desert. Oregon's pretty cool. I 
All right. What should we play now? What do we think? Epic Battle Simulator. We just played that. Among Us, no. Uh. Not on your life. We still got to finish Escape Simulator. You guys could help me finish it. Ooh, City Skylines. I haven't played that in a while. I want to finish up these last couple of puzzles. Halo or Destiny? I actually deleted the Halo games off my computer. Still have Destiny, though. <laughs> Oops. All right, this chapter is called Omega Corporation. These boots are important. Sighing is important, apparently. This is important. Wow, okay, that's a long... Last code. Hey. Picture frame. Right. Hey. This uh, tree decoration is important. These buckets are not. The workers painted over the wiring schematics. Huh. Wiring schematics. Hello. Those look like wires, wiring schematics. Okay. <clears throat> Hint, escape from office B4. Fuck. Four. Ooh, cake photograph, that's important. Pen is not, stapler is not. Look like there's anything else. Nope. Okay. Uh, okay, so I need a password here. These symbols look like those symbols. Like chess pieces. Uh, the workers painted over the wiring schematics. And if I open that, I see another combination, probably a briefcase. Uh, this says escape from B4. Hmm. 
Evacuation plan, Office B4. B4, restaurant, all eight, lobby. Okay. So four and eight. Oh, maybe you start here, move right one, down two. B4, right one, down two. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. What is this? Metal detector. They painted over the schematics or whatever, then I guess this metal detector would help. Doesn't look like it does anything else in the room. There, yeah, here we go. Okay. Okay. I don't know how this helps me. Okay, um, I heard a beep here, here. The Omicron variant. All right, Poppy Poe, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us for a little bit. We appreciate it. Okay, I pretty much got one on every single one but the horse. Do those three. Or well, not that one, but no. Ah, bishop. I'm guessing queen and king. Nice. All right. Help me, the code is on the bracelet that's inside the case. Left is regular. Right is reversed. The code is on the bracelet that's inside the case. Well, this is an x-ray machine right here, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see if it'll fit in there. Ah. Oh, I love it. Oh, balls, but... How do I look at it if I can't get on the computer screen? Uh, forgot password. My age, my pink favorite beauty, left, then right. What?
age. All right. Age 30. Favorite pink beauty. I guess 53. Left then right. The shoes? That's right. Eight. Left, so nine, eight. Security clearance, LED controls, clothes, important, x-ray. Code is 619. This would be 619, that would be 916. Okay. Pick three symbols that are missing. The sign. Smoking, gun, Shopping cart. Phenomenal. Enter employee ID number. Christ alive. Six. One. Nine. Nine. One, six. Beautiful. That looks like an ID card to me. Hey. Okay. Enter employee ID number. 042 Gregory Clark. Nice. Clearance level. Five sounds good. Okay. Now what? Scan on the door. Hard okay, enter password. Oh, for love, okay, um. <laughs> there are so many. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Penguin virus variant Omega Vitus. The Deadpool versus Penguin Table T-Rex War. Okay, can you believe that the Penguins really pulled that off? With the help of Deadpool, the T-Rexes, and a couple of exploding shells on the beaches of Normandy, they were able to destroy all of the dressers and tables. And no, you're not having a stroke. That's just something we did earlier in the day. Fruit, 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 fruit. Fruit, 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 fruit. This is the only hint thing I haven't used. What on earth? <laughs> How does this work? Prevented the Burgundy landings and saved Private Ryan Reynolds. Few will live to tell the story. <laughs> the Murphy variant. What a day. What a lovely day! Oh one, oh one, oh one. For every O, one comes off. For every one, one comes off. Try the O's, I guess. Strawberry. Pear. Uh... Watermelon. Um, I only do three. 
One. 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 Air? Bananas? Apple? Homie, what the hell? This thing, this makes no sense. Let me take a look at this thing. Do any of you have any idea how I'm supposed to interpret this? Tell me, Navel. How on earth do I find a password out of this thing? Could look it up. How is this a clue? We must escape. Although I have no idea how. Yes, we did play Power Watch Simulator a little bit while you were gone. Yeah, we can. Naval, that did not help. It doesn't articulate in any way. Cherry, apple, banana, grape. Cherry, banana, apple, grape. Oh, for God's sakes. It's the tree? I know it's the tree! What number's on the tree? <laughs> Divide five by three, and then times three plus 56 by eight. What? Follow the tree. I'm looking at the tree. What's the relation between the ones and the zeros and the fruit? Ugh. I'm tempted to throw it. Add the numbers. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh and one or one and oh. And divide them again? It 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, I gathered that much. Zero, zero, zero is strawberry. Zero, zero, one is cherry. Zero, one, zero is pear. Zero, one, one is that thing. One zero zero is watermelon. One zero one is bananas. One one zero is pear, whatever that is. One 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 is grape. I have no idea if there was a binary sequence. Uh. Let's see. Oh, oh, one. Cherry. Oh, one. Oh. Nabel, tell me the number that you get. Because it's not a number I'm looking for. I'm looking for fruit. Fruit! Hold on, I just looked up something online. It says there's a display message somewhere. Welcome, Omega. Important. 011-101-001. 011-101-001. Okay, so now I know what to do with the tree. Let's say 011. 011 is apple. 101. 101 is banana. Apple, banana. And 001. 00. Oh, wait, wait. O. Oh. Oh, oh. One is cherry. Apple, banana, cherry. Boom. Ugh. I didn't know what the binary sequence was. The one we were supposed to use. It wasn't until I pulled up that display right there. That was the part I was missing. Man, that one took longer than any of the other ones. Alrighty, what do we got here? What do we got here? Uh, my food, frowny face, don't touch. We got a lock with three letters. Oop, we got an important folder here. Annual report, okay. Another no. Here we go. Another annual report. Last one said sixty something, that one said seventy-two. RAM module. That's so. DDR3. Ew. Old RAM. Gross. Okay. Ooh, this one has a key on it. DDR4, that's the type of RAM I use. 
Watering can has a key on it. Whiteboard and eraser. Okay. Oh! Right. This folder is important too. This one says 70. This one says 72. And this one says 66. Might come in handy. Couple stickers of bamboo. Four digit keypad. Nothing. Nothing. Umbrella that's unimportant. Hat that is unimportant. Mug. Sticky note. Finally got my head around TQs. This one means six. Cool. Another sticky note. Login, pass, use TQ code. Okay. Smartphone. ASC2 table. All right. Painting, painting. Let's, let's move the chair. Ram module, screwdriver, papers, papers. This looks like a paper shredder. Oh! See codes. Okay. Can I stick this in there? Okay, cool. Nice. These are those TQ codes. This one means six. Okay. No input source. Screwdriver. Nice. GPXU got some fans. I don't know why there's a fan right there. Get that dimmer RAM. Let's put that in the computer. Will you work now? <laughs> yes. No. Uh. Login pass. Use TQ code. Oh, I know. What a setup, right? Put the RAM in the computer. Only one stick of RAM. Psh. Hmm. Uh, TP, AC. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Christ. Wait, hold on a second. This table has two digit numbers corresponding to a letter. Letters, three folders, each with a double digit letter. 70, 
72. 66. Okay. Yeah. 70. Six Ah! B F H This is not the right order. Damn. It's unlocked? Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look like a phone pattern. See that? Ba 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 ba. One, two, six, eight. Ah, okay. All right. TQ codes. Okay. First, second, third. One, two, three. Completely empty is zero. 100% filled in is nine. This top triangle is one. This is two. This is three. But if the center is filled in, then it's six, seven, and eight. Filled outside, empty inside is four. Empty outside, filled inside is five. Okay. Uh, all right, that makes some sense. Right, but it goes clockwise. One, two, three. So this is nine. And this one is empty. One, two, this would be three. And then all empty is zero. Now three. Solid middle, and then this one be seven. And eight. Boom! 
All right, USB app. No USB stick plugged in. Ugh, joy to the world. Okay. Anything else down here? Find. Need a USB stick. No, I pressed the hint. I don't want the hint. No. Oh, so much for that. It's the safe right here, right? There's also a key somewhere. It says, don't touch my food. What are you? Ah, oh, gray, blue, red. Good observation. Gray, blue, red. Well done. Okay, so gray was 66. No, gray was 72. So it would be H, then blue, would be B, H, B, F. Well done! Well done! Energy drink, milk, Chinese food. Okay. That makes sense. <sighs> this Chinese food right here, it's got the same symbol. Yeah, it's a fridge. Uh, anything in here? Hello? I don't know. I'm myself trying to break a plant right now. Umbrella. Anything in a trash can I'm missing? So bizarre. I'm back here.
I've got this Chinese food, but nothing to do with it. <laughs> do I do I smear the Chinese food on that? USB stick in TB? There's a token. Nothing else on it. Trash bag? I don't have anything in here. Got this screwdriver, but... Hell if I know. Nothing in the cup holders. Nothing in there. How bizarre. Another token. I swear to God, there's nothing else in the keyboard. There's just... It was just this one button. What was that? Might be something in the food. What I'm wondering is that maybe it isn't... the food itself, but what the food is. Like a menu item. Like... There's a key for this somewhere. What the hell? Under the chair? No. No USB stick plugged in. Ooh! The watering can. Oh, we forgot about that. Key. Also token. Key. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Menu. What did I say? What did I say? Menu. Now what does this correspond to? Is rice? The prices. Rice, two dollars. Uh. Uh, mushrooms, two dollars. That's four dollars. Broccoli, one twenty. That's three or uh, five twenty. And shrimpies, uh, twelve twenty. Again. What is this? A USB stick. Hell yes. Plug it in. Plug it in. Okay.
Ah. There we go. USB skeleton key created. We did it! <laughs> we did it! Hey, welcome back. I just said we were trying to get out of a room, and we finally did it. Oh, man. This is a nice room. I accidentally pressed the hint button. I hope that doesn't ruin my streak of not using it. That looks like the number eight to me. Six. Two. Two, six, eight. Might have to do with something. Okay, this tie is important. This tie is important. Those are not, that is not, glasses are not. A button! Flashes. Another button. Look at that. We have a cassette tape. Okay. And an empty one but it has a token okay select three ties i only have two ties okay. there are other ties got one two three four computers that looks like space for a cassette tape yep that's about what a cassette tape does um That's a paper of some kind. Uh, posters, timer, a screwdriver box. Right, I'll take it. Okay. Shirt and another tie. There we go. Ties are we looking at here? Uh, red with white squiggles. Black with bluish greenish hexagons. Blue with yellow crosses. Nice chip slot. That doesn't do anything. These things, I'm guessing, go in here. Probably in the order that they're spread about the room. There are four slots, four terminals. Uh, kind of square tool. Basic 10 cheat sheet. Basic 10 is the simplest programming language. You enter commands and after you press run, the commands are interpreted and the result is shown in the output. You can enter a maximum of 10 commands. Okay. It's fun. Small picture frame is important. Okay. This small picture frame is important. Those are not.
I am starting to be really good at hiding things. I can't even find some of the things I've stashed away, but this I have to remember. Red and blue floppy disks don't hold the key if they don't work together. Okay. Well, damn, these look just like the... These things. Okay. Dial BBS number. Okay. Hey, a blue floppy. Hey. BBS. Dial BBS number five 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 two five six two two two. From dawn to sunset, hidden in plain sight. Could be these. From dawn, morning delight, two. Noon, radio, six. Evening news, eight, two, six, eight. Unlocked, yeah boy, okay, that's one. All right, well, that one was easy. Okay, now I've got a blue floppy disk I can put in here. But this thing said I need a blue and a red floppy disk. So where is a red floppy disk? I don't see one anywhere. Key! Ha! Hiding in the plants. Red floppy. There we go. Okay. Uh. Detected. Got. Brainscape. Brainscape. Hypnosis presents. Yeah. Fly, bull fly. Bull fly. It's the turtle it is info games. And the ring is Similaris. Nice. Ah. Two. Three. Seven. How come this one's opposite? This looks exactly the same. Two and two. This one. Oh, because it's eight. It's two halves of an eight. That's why. Okay. So two, eight, seven. Yes, baby! Okay. These things. What do I do with this? What about you? There's something in the screwdriver case I can use for that. These look like little tools. All right. Oh. That looks like a square. Okay. There we 
There we go. Nice. What is the number I am thinking of? <laughs> All right, somebody throw out a number. <laughs> <laughs> it's between 1 and 100. Random number. Somebody throw out a number. Fifty-three and seven. This is a little bit smaller than fifty-three. Seven is way too low. Sixty-nine. Smaller than 69. It's smaller than 53. It's a little bit smaller than 53. So it wouldn't be 56. It'd be the other direction. 46. Close, but smaller. It's smaller than 46. Kyle says 44. Smaller than 44. Damn. 42, he says. Bigger than 42, but smaller than 44. I wonder what it could be. 43. Nice. Compartment open. That was dumb. Okay, well, this is the last one. Uh, how the hell does this work? Okay. Put that there. Okay, so... Basic 10 cheat sheet. Print command displays text on the screen. Okay. For example, print hello. Okay. Word hello will be outputted onto the screen. Hello. Uh, text color. Text output it on the screen after this command will be in the chosen color. Example, text color 6. Print hello. Okay, so text color 6. Print hello. Look at that. Okay, text hello will be in yellow. Okay, uh, four. Using four command, you can make a loop. Loops start with four command and end with the next command. Okay. Output code expected. So output needs to match expected. So print hello, print world. Hello world. Nice. Red hello, blue world, red hello. I'm sorry, Cyan. So, text color two is red. Hello. Text. Okay, next. Text color five, world. Next, text color red, so two, hello. Can't run that, okay. Let's try it without saying next. Uh, text color two for hello, text color five for world, text color two for hello. There, okay. Hello, hello, hello. World, 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 world. All white. Okay. Um. Using the for command, you can make a loop. Loops start with for command and end with the next command. So world, hello is one, two, three. Okay. 
many worlds do we have? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. World. Loop and counter mismatch. Shit. Um. <laughs> you could have learned that instead of Java. Hey, Java's pretty good. Okay, so for a loop. One to three will be that. Okay. So now four will do nine. There are ten of them. World. Next. Print world. Boom! That was pretty simple. Okay. There's nothing on there. Oh, you gave me a key. Do you unlock this door here? Yes, you do! Oh. All right. Next episode. We're in an elevator. Why does he keep saying token found again? So weird. I was doing that earlier. Ugh. This is gonna sound kind of weird, but I want to shoot stuff. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah, I didn't see those. Follow your dreams, Donald Crane. C R A N E. Aha! I need two keys for that. So, Omega. Omega. Got a mop, got a caution sign. Cleaning simulator has taught me anything is that I can use this mop to clean this floor. Look at that. Look at us go. Double check the suitcase. Banana? Ha! A key! Okay. Pens are useless. Key is obviously not. Nice. Okay. Glasses are useless. Banana is useless. Note is important. The elevator still has not been fixed. Press 2 three times quickly and then press the button negative 1 to go to the second floor. And I don't need that briefcase anymore as long as I got that. What is this? A rag. Use this for something. All right, um... Okay, we have what looks like Braille. And... It looks like numbers.
Hmm. Oh yeah, it definitely depends on the mood. I'll take the elevator if I'm tired. How many letters is this, or how many digits is this code? Three. I'm guessing that just means number. Number four dots. Number four dots, seven. Six, seven, four. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Center key part. Okay. Let's go six. Wow, okay. So it's this one. Two blue, white, white. And I, yes, I can. All right, I need to rotate them. So this one's full blue, this one's full blue, and all the whites are on the outsides of those. Okay. that'll fit into there, but we'll figure that out. Okay, next floor. Four. You're cold? Well, my friend, you had better bundle up. Something out the window. Two, six. Two, six. Much can be learned by observing the space between our thoughts. Space between our thoughts. How many digits? Four digits, okay. Um, all right. If we're on four now, how do we get to three? I hit minus one, will we go down? Wait, hold on. Elevator still has not been fixed. Press two three times quickly and then press the negative one. Okay. Two, six, eight, zero. Zero, eight, six, two. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Another key part! Oh. oh man. I got two more parts to go. Something here. And I guess something here, unless that's just what the key looks like. Alright, let's go back down to two. I'm figuring it out! <laughs> I'm figuring it out! I can do this! All I see are dots! Dots. 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 Two red, blue. They're in the wall, blue.
Are doing anything? Ah, okay. Those two are broken, those two are red. Okay, that makes sense. Well, this is the Omega Corporation, so maybe... Block out the Omega symbols. Or maybe the opposite. It was the opposite. Okay. Think that's enough, or do you think we need another half of this key? I'm pretty sure we're gonna need another half of the key. Alright, last floor is zero. Unless there's a three that we're missing. They went missing on the way down. Seven, blank, 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 negative two. So the floors that aren't there. Five, three, one. Easy. And I've got my key. That was easy. That one was really easy. An iPhone? I wanted a PS4! I would get rid of all of my consoles right now just to get a PlayStation 5. I want to play that Ratchet and Clank game so badly. Oh my god. We are in a server room. Some sort. Flipboard is important. Okay. Backup system. Backup for two A. Okay, that's letters and numbers. Disc. ABX9. Okay. Toolbox. Duct tape. That thing. And. A battery. Okay. Panel removal tool. I remember these. Tape. Disc. Clipboard. Right. B24D. We got some more discs. 8B6R. FB8D. The alphabet. More discs. Okay. USB, USB, USB. VR headset. Interesting. Helmets. Oh. Take that. Uh, is there a... It's a hint. No admittance to server room without authorization. VR headset lock. Okay. Ah. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F. Right. No worries, my friend. Thank you so much for stopping by. It does look like one of those craftsman toolboxes. 
Oh, the PS5 looks like butthole. I just want one. It took me a long time to get a PlayStation 3, granted. It took me a long time to get a PS4, too. Insert disc EA7C. Insert disc B24D. I think do that. D4... F... F... Eight... I don't have those. <laughs> uh, I put all of these in here. Damn it. I am missing one. I think it's that one. How do I get you? B24D. That's the one it wants. B24D. EA7C. EA7C. Loading? Loading! Corrupted disk. Okay, that's fantastic. Insert backup disk. Let's have to say something about backups. Backup for 2A3B is 3B4C. So this is just one letter up, one, or one letter down, one number up. Two to three, A to B, three to four, B to C. B to C, two to three, S to T, Q to R. Yep, that is exactly what it is. Okay, so what were you? EA7C would be F, B. That's the only one with F, B. And since B24D is out there, let's find one that's C35E. Should be this one. Disc is okay. Welcome back, Nana. How you doing? Oof, what on earth? The binary tree. This symbol and this symbol, these two deltas make this squibble, which goes here. This goes like that. It's like that. <gasps> oh boy. Nice. USB key. I'm guessing goes right in there. All right. Server status. It's stuck in a loop. Virus moves swiftly from one to another until they all shut down. Oh my god. Six, six digits. Okay. Virus moves swiftly from one to another until they all shut down. Hmm. Did they shut down? How do you know if they shut down? Wait, this one turned red. Now it's back. Both of these are red. All of them are red. Then they all shut down. It's stuck in a loop. Virus moves swiftly from one to another until they all shut down. Okay, the letters. All right. C. F. E. D. B. Okay, now they're all down. All right. Which one's first. Oh no, they're all down. 
Another back up. A. C. A C F A C F A C F E A C F E A C F E D A C F E D A C F E D B A C F E D B Hell yes. Okay. It's the USB key. Put it back in here. Yeah, we got it. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, okay. VR headset lock. Uh, are there any other puzzles in here? A tape on the floor. Y. X. X times Y equals question mark. X sparks. There we go. All right. Use a tape. Why? Oh, look at that. 74. Okay. Times 50. 74 times 50 equals 3,700. 37. Yes! Give me that VR headset. An Oculus is like $800. <laughs> what do I do with it? <laughs> Battery. Okay. Do that. Ah, here we go. Green. Oh, this is easy. I am insanely good at this type of puzzle. Easy. There you go. Uh, collections. Triangle. Red, red, I don't know. Alright, I'm guessing we just move these mirrors here. Get our boys where they need to go. You go... There. Okay. You... There. Four in line. Reset. 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 Oh, this is Connect 4.
I win. Huh. All right. That was it. It says exit to menu. You can't see it. It's right here. <laughs> oh, well. All right. So that was it. We beat the game. Okay. Damn, now what? Anybody up for some Call of Duty bots? Because <clears throat> I can't stand playing against real people. Ten hour stream, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, for me, it says 9 hours, 52 seconds. You know how we do. All right, let's exit out of this game. What to play now? What to play now? <laughs> you hear that? Was it audible? Quit this game, for God's sakes. Alright. <laughs> Alright, what do we think? What do we think? What do we think? Still got Destiny 2. Got Doom Eternal. I still need to finish that. I feel like what I want to do with that is, like, actually, you know... I don't know, I guess, like, actually play through the whole game. I really want to start over Doom Eternal, because the last time we played it, it was, like, really, really, like, juddery and terrible. You know? You know what's bad is I don't even know what Dares of Eternity are. I don't even know. <laughs> it's been that long since I've really gotten into Destiny. I kind of want to play Call of Duty Vanguard. Is that bad? Expedition Everest, what is that? Expedition Everest. Is that a game? Disney World. Expedition Everest Legend of the Forbidden Mountain is a steel roller coaster built by Vekoma at Disney's Animal Kingdom at the Walt Disney World Resort in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. The ride is themed around the Yeti, protecting the Forbidden Mountain next to Mount Everest. Yeah. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is... Man, I don't even know. This is something else. I don't even know what to do. Ooh, what game, Roni? Monopoly? COD 4. Man, I haven't played that in forever. I've got it. I just haven't played it in forever. Oh, by the way, I've got um, the Hitman trilogy is on Game Pass now. Um, I just have to finish downloading it uh, once I'm done streaming and everything, and I'll stream some of that. Because I've always, 
always wanted to get into the newer Hitmans. Um, so I remember like the original Hitman trilogy, like the original Hitman trilogy from the early 2000s. Whew. Uh. City Skylines! Oh, hold on. It's telling me it's got to update something. Wait, it says ready to launch. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Just be a second. No cities, not cuties. Sandbox mode. Holy shit, I'm having serious deja vu right now. <laughs> like insane deja vu. Wow. Bean Town. Man, way crazy deja vu right now. Roni, are you having deja vu too? I'm having insane deja vu right now. City Skylines Airports. Interesting. Oh, they got all sorts of stuff now. I don't want to buy all of these damn DLC. Ooh. All right. 14 new trees by Mr. Mason, blah, 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 blah. Toll booths and new policy. Interesting. I like how all they're going to do is just keep up, like, updating this game instead of actually, like, making a new game. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Oh. Concerts. Okay. Ellie? Let's do it. Hello there. It's DC. Welcome. Naval, welcome back. I'm doing alright. How are you? DC, I thought your uh, avatar there was the PayPal logo. <laughs> That's what I thought. Man, I'm not getting any sound. Weird. You guys getting any sound? Oh no, those those old streams, those those are gone, my friend. Those are gone. Alright. Buy some land. You want natural disease, disease? You want natural disease, disease? We can give him some natural disease. Yes we can. Yes, we can. All right. Fire some land. Uh.
Alright, that's interesting, but there we go. Alright. The train track right here. Nice. This would be perfect city front area here. Let's do it. Two-lane road with trees. One lane, two lane, one way road with trees. Tram tracks. Monorail tracks on two lane road. Okay. And two lane, one way small industry road. Let's just build a little outline for a city. Be too hard. Right. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I can't hear anything, can you? Like, are you guys getting any audio whatsoever for the game? Yeah, I, I, I am not hearing a thing. Very strange. No wonder. Ah! Well, got what I wanted. <laughs> Blasted my ears. Nice. Okay. What type of road is this? This type of road? Yes. It's gonna be over here. Uh oh, that's about.
right. <laughs> For what? A highway? Look, I'm gonna pave paradise to put up a parking lot whether you like it or not, my friend. blow it all up anyways. There. Off ramp, highway ramp, yep. Yeah. Back to our ones here, but let's bump it up to two instead, shall we? Your malfunction.
Am I getting tired? Not yet. Not enough. What I'm going to do now is just toss some highway ramps here. Yeah. That. And now you bought. Like that. Alright. Let's get some giant residential areas in here, shall we? There you go. There you go. Alright. We'll even have some of it overlooking the beach. Alright. What are you? Eco water treatment plant, tank reservoir, pumping service, fresh water outlet. The fresh water outlets let out excess water in the system. It can be placed on dry land. I want to build a park. Large water tower. Boom. 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 This is the water inlet. What this is? That is a water inlet. Slurp up from there. This will be our pipe. Literally just quick and dirty. God damn you. Yeah. And we'll have it shit out into the river. How that sound? Alright. Wait a minute, no, that was the empty. No, that was the NT. This is the Audi. Yep. So, let's have our hydro power plant. Oh. How about we stick this sucker right over here? Yeah. Look at that. That looks pretty good. I think. Oh no, the river's going away. Oh no. Return, river, return to the river. Oh boy. Big old time. Big old town. I got coal power plants. How about a solar power plant? How does that sound? That sounds fantastic. Yeah. Nice. Solar power. 
That is what I need. Okay. Alright, so let's get a whole bunch of... Power to the people! Okay, we need some office buildings. We need offices. This is low density commercial zone, high density. Oh, what? What's that? That looks wonderful. Ooh, go away. Just need a town ish. That's it. Now, if y'all hurry up and build a whole bunch of stuff near a power area, then we'll be fine. Okay. Need power to go from here. So, to. Oh no, there's a big glob of water! Oh no, the water! It's a big glob! Super glob! Oh no! Whatever shall we do? Where's it going? We have a new mobile lake. Is this place? Okay. I need to get some power to the peoples. Do that. There you go. Uh. Hmm. How do I get power over to that thing? Water. Ah! Yes! It works! It works. Works. Look at that. What do y'all you, need jobs for? Look at jobs over here. A hustly bustly town. Go get jobs. Jalissa, hey, welcome back. Welcome back. All right, Daniel, we'll catch you later. Jalissa, we know who you are. You're here all the time. This is a major metropolitan area. Build a super hospital. Let's build a 
Super fire department. Let's build a super cop department, even though we shouldn't have to have one. Nice. Everybody is in desperate need of a job. Interesting. All right, well, let's please stop. We'll have all that stuff be out here. Gross stuff. How's that blob? Looks like it's... Turning into some kind of mush? Interesting. Very interesting. Well, thank you! What do you need? Not enough workers. Well, it looks like our city is destitute already. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna hit it with a giant meteor! There! And go! Look at everybody living terrible squalid lives. All they can think about is how there aren't enough workers. Makes you wonder what could happen. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's an awful shame, isn't it? Everything's on fire. There was a hospital somewhere around here. Well. Good thing we have a fire... <laughs> a firehouse. Well, that was fun. truck I know that's the weird thing about it like it it's so exactly it's it's very unrealistic it doesn't make any sense why that would be it like that's the only destruction you gotta be kidding me they need more simulators like that like, end-of-the-world simulator or something. I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're going to play a little something-something else. Um, it is not a simulator. Uh. It is just a game I like to play. Uh... Well, that's that's it. <laughs> it's just a game I like to play. I like the newer Call of Duties. I think they're okay. Aw. <laughs> if only that was a meteor. Something, something. I love that game. Agreed. All right, what I like to do is I like to go in to a custom game, set up some bots. I start it regular and then I try to go a little harder as I go along. Pick a map. 
Yeah, new-ish. I mean, 2019. We'll do... Crash, because that's one of the classic maps. And I'll check my... Loadouts. Which I think are fine. And I will start. I do not know what that means. <laughs> Roni says green. Yeah, almost three years old. Think about that. That is insane. When the very first... When the very first... Oh, gracious me. Call of Duty came out back in 2003 really wasn't that big of a deal. Neither was Call of Duty 2, and Call of Duty 3 almost sank the whole damn franchise, if I'm being entirely honest with you. That game is not good. However... Call of Duty 4, on the other hand, of which this map... Uh, from which this map comes... Can you tell they're bots? I'd be so dead by now. I had to open my big fat mouth. <laughs> yeah, Call of Duty 4 took over the world. It took a- Whoa! It took over the mantle of, like, Xbox ex extreme multiplayer sports from, uh, Halo 3. Even though Halo 3 is still played to this day. It's almost like you're telling me it's time for something. What could it possibly be time for? You have to tell me. Drink water, ready to send. I like it. You bastard! It was the tree! Get 
Well, send it! Damn. Drink water! Ah! I don't have any water left. <laughs> Why on earth do I have this? Why do I have this gun? I do not like this gun. This is a terrible gun. Why am I using it? Why did it switch my loadout? That didn't make any sense. Ridiculous. Three points down. Damn, son, this thing sucks. Thank you. Five kills down. Get out of the way and stop being useless, stupid bots! Christ, you're terrible, all of you. Lord, did I accidentally set these bots to fucking... piss, bitch? You bastard, you're made of beans. We still won. <laughs> never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around. It's all in good fun. I was actually having a lot of fun playing Vanguard. Oh, for sure they did. <clears throat> Hard Hat's a huge Modern Warfare 3 map. My goodness, do you guys remember those games? Did you even play them? It blows my mind. Modern Warfare 3 came out 11 years ago. How? I remember waiting in line at midnight to get that game for my PlayStation 3. Lord, like it was yesterday. Yesterday! <laughs> Insane to me. Uh, I should have fiddled with the bot difficulty, but... Eh, be what it is. It is what it is. Uh. Team death match. We've got enemy inbound. Lock and load. Lock and load. We've taken the lead. Enemy got the lead. Hustle up. Try and boo. 
baby girl. I'm trying to do what you want. I want what you want, baby. Had to go back up the stairs. Dude, it is. It's actually freaking hilarious the way that COD, like, the way that they model their characters. Because it's been the same for, like, 15, 16 years now. Like, you can tell these are all just different variations on the same engine. Like, it, it doesn't really matter how uh, up to date they are. God. That one. That was ugly. Oh! The fuck? Look, <laughs> there was an arm coming out of my head. That was weird. We got Rick here. All right, go Tigers! Go Tigers! Even the bots camp. We're the bad guys. Enemy at the center. Show your faces. I don't know how that counts as a kill. Look like six bullets just to shoot his butthole. Got the new gay flag, where? What's the new one look like compared to the old one?
My second lap around the map. Oh, turn around. Fuck. Colorblind? Who's colorblind? You're not colorblind. Where are the bad guys? I want to shoot them in the butt. Mission accomplished. Talk marks. Ooh, that's... SCP-3008? What is that? Something containment protocol, something, something. <sighs> ah. What is that? SCP Containment Breach. Thing is, I've never even heard of it. Well, I mean, I've heard of SCP, but like, whatever the new one is. Oh, they remade it on Unity. Put bullets deep in my- Uh-oh! <sighs> Roni, how dare you? Ooh, boy. Man, we have been streaming for a while, haven't we? Almost 11 hours. Gordon Ramsay in Portal 3. <laughs> it's raw! So that's why you don't want people saying sus. You're just like, shh. Uh. <laughs> your goofballs, it's all yeah, you're just a bunch of goofballs. This is Call of Duty Simulator.
We're falling behind. Well, it's not my fault if we're falling behind. They're the ones who keep dying. Ah! What's happening? Ah! <laughs> no, they're gonna win, and I can't even get out of this stupid. Ah! Beaten by bots. Incredible. I got 19 eliminations, and they get two of their people got 20. Damn. Ugh. Ugh. Gordon tells all those turret box, You fuck off! You fuck off! You fuck off, and you fuck off! Get out! Get out! Gordon Ramsay. Balls. Balls of steel. <laughs> you goofy kids, this is good. This will be the longest thing on my channel. Do you guys know that? The longest thing. Period. Nothing else even comes close. Damn, son. We're down, but not out. In your jaws. Yeah, baby. Nice. Aye, Christ. Oh, finally got me. Damn. No matter. I have a flame juggernaut. That blew off the entire top half of my body. Dr. Strange love bomb ride. Heal, heal. Oh. Well done! Yeah! Ha! Woo! Ha! Woo! Woo! 
excellent. Dr. Strangelove, or how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. I actually like this game more than I liked Call of Duty World War II. Uh, I think this is a lot better, actually. It's faster. Sticky bams. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Come on, baby. Eliminate all hostiles. Oh, baby. Oh, weird. Did not know that those were in this game. Kill walls. Damn! Killed by the booties. Nice. There's a lot of guns going off. Wasn't even paying attention. I hear all sorts of stuff coming from over there, but there's no map that way. Like, the map literally does not extend that direction. Balls! Stop embarrassing yourself in front of your your beans. We're in the lead. We're in the lead. Okay. I keep hearing stuff over there, but there's nothing over there. Literally. I think the surround sound is backwards. Careful now, I've got you. Of God, ah. I took this map from Card Mobile. Man, shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> we won, I guess. I got seven kills because I couldn't get anywhere near them. Jesus. That was wild. I have never been that far away from the action. 
in a bot match of all matches. What the hell was that? One of these is a remake. I think Radar here is a remake of Dome from Modern Warfare 3. Which was the first game that Sledgehammer ever worked on before they got shunted off to go work on Advanced Warfare. Which, Jesus, released three years after Modern Warfare 3. Lord. How was that game eight years old? I don't get it. It had Kevin Spacey in it. Think about that. Think about that. Team Deathmatch. Eradicate all threats. Eradicate all threats. Oh! <laughs> Turn around, the whole enemy team is there. <laughs> My god! My good god! What a thing! Right, I guess I don't get that one. Where are you? Hello? Bad people, where are you? Hello? Ooh. When I ask for one, I don't want all of you. Christ. Oh, Jesus. Triple kill. That's what I like to see. Damn, man. Spawns are not great. I'm spawning near them. Yeah, this is very much dome. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Modern Warfare 3. This is literally that map. Oh, by the barrel all the way down there. Jesus. Oh, 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 ah, ah! I'll take one. Keep lick licking my lower lip in anticipation. Yeah, alright, well. We won anyway. Okay, everybody, it has officially been 11 hours and two minutes. You know what I'm gonna say. You know what I'm gonna say. Follow the links down in the description to figure out how to become a YouTube member to support this channel. You got a merch link down there so you can get sweatshirts as nice as this one right here. 
BBG! BBG! Black Beanie Gaming, it's the best thing in the world. I would like to thank each and every one of you for sticking with us for over 11 hours. Literally over 11 hours. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I'm probably going to be doing more stuff like this where I just hop on and just play games. You know what I mean? Like, no, no real set direction. Maybe a theme, but like, we just sit down and we'll just play games for a while. All week I have been writing scripts, I have been planning tutorials, I have been doing other busy work. Uh, you'll see more of that stuff over the next coming week, over the next couple of weeks. Um, Golden Gate Bridge will be the next tutorial to come out. Uh, script is 30 pages, it's finished. You just gotta record it and edit it. And that'll be that for that. So yeah, thank you guys. Check out those links, join us on social medias, subreddit, Discord. Discord is where it's at. That is so much fun. You got like 300 people in there now. 288 people. Bunch of damn beans. Yeah, the ambulances went by. They're done. BBG. That's the brand. Rep it. It's good. We love it. All right, guys. This was fun. <laughs> Uh, 11 hours, my god. Literally almost half a day. Phew! Thank goodness for the weekend. Crap. I'm heading out, I'm gonna watch a couple videos, and I'm gonna go to sleep. Because it's like 3 in the morning where I am, almost. I stream! Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Mustache. Thank you, Roni. Thank you, everybody that showed up today. I will catch you all next time.